Coastal Highway. So yeah, we've done Broken Railroad, Forlorn, Mountain Town, Mystery Lake, Bleak Inlet, Black Rock, and Ash Canyon. We're actually running out of places to do. And we'll run even drier with saying goodbye to Coastal Highway. What can I say about Coastal Highway? It has some tools, not terribly many of them, and I'm not sure which are guaranteed. It has a lot of places to take shelter in, which are warm, or at least we can warm up in them and sleep in them. And they're relatively spaced apart, so I don't think we're going to be running into situations where we're going to go do long, dangerous treks. And there's plenty of wildlife and plenty of things to combust, and there's even beach combing. Although we're playing on the latest patch, uh, it has now fixed many of the issues, so I'm happy enough to be playing on it, at least from the couple hours of testing I gave it. So, shouldn't be too hard, right? The only reasonable thing that might prove difficult, off the top of my head, is that I'm not entirely sure there are guaranteed matches here. You will usually find matches, there are a lot of places to find them, but I don't think they're guaranteed. Before, they used to be guaranteed up in a lookout tower around here. I am quite convinced they are no longer guaranteed. And if I also recall well, it was male Commander Shepard who brought home the win last time, so we're going to be Fem Shep. No feats, because feats are for chumps. SRS. Uh, Coastal Highway. Also, someone could remind me to grab my laundry in about 40 minutes, that'd be great. I'll put on a wash before starting this. Right, so, single region survivor. I have to survive in this region for 30 days or until I am self-sufficient. Honestly, I, I think it'll take me two weeks to become self-sufficient, but maybe I'm being a little bit too cocky. It is <laughs> at dead of night, dare I say. It is quite cold, it's going to be dark in all indoor locations, which is, uh, has resulted in us doing a lot of indoor fumbling so far, and will probably result in more of it now. So what I should probably do is, rather than explore all the indoor places, is just maybe use them to warm up, grab something if I can, and make our way around outside, because it's, it's almost always pretty light outside and easy to see our way around. Whilst this wind is unpleasant and the temperature is unquestionably low, it's no bleak inlet. This is actually a very forgiving region. This, I would even say, is the easiest region after Mountain Town and Mystery Lake. I should do some more running though. It's the cold is the bigger issue than anything else. So first up, there's a trailer over here and possibly a corpse over by this railway thingamajigger. So we will check that. Here we go. Corpses can have matches. They can also have nothing. And this one elects to have nothing. There are crow feathers, but we have zero use for feathers. In a normal game, you would pick up every feather you see because they are almost weightless and extremely useful for making arrows. They're even now useful for making fire-hardened arrows, which now finally have a use. They are a way to hunt ptarmigans without spooking them and without using up your precious real arrows. I still don't think I would justify using them, but it's a possibility. Right, so I can't see much in here. I will check the containers that I can see, but otherwise I'm just going to take the opportunity to warm up although there's not a lot of warming up to be done here, whilst continuing on my way. The alternative is that I wait here for several hours. In fact, I'd have to wait here for something like 10 hours to be able to just see inside. I'd rather not do that. I will take condition damage for it and, of course, risk the wolves, but I'd rather get some exploration done outside while the going is relative. Well, it's not good, but it is going. Temperature fell by a couple of degrees while I was out there. But being indoors also gives me an opportunity to regenerate my stamina meter that you see in the bottom right. So where we are is in the far top, uh, not top, I guess, north, 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 come on words. This is the northwest because it was next to the entrance to the ravine. As the name implies in Single Region Survivor, we're only allowed inside a single region. We're not allowed to take the Cinder Hill Coal Mine, because that connects up to Pleasant Valley. Be quiet there, Shepard. Come on, speak up. We're not allowed to take the exit to the ravine, or the exit to Crumbling Highway. 
We are, however, oh, that was just a giant rabbit, but no, that was a deer. We are allowed to enter the Aurora Mine, and in fact, that'll be a somewhat answer. important part of this run, I think. Because that has some fat loot. I think I see a, a wee rabbity friend there. Alright, a couple of rabbits. We're going to be starting off with some good eating for Commander Shepard. Oh, turned around at the last minute, costing me my throw. It was a throw, alright. Right, in that case, whilst they figure out what they're doing, I shall grab some rosy hips. Do I, if I don't warm up soon. The rabbits would actually give me a useful thing to do to pass the time. If I really wanted to pass the night. There we go. Oh, the poor rabbit sees his rabbity. Come on. Come on. There we go. Sometimes the game's a bit weird about not letting you pick up the rabbit. I was very fortunate to get a, a free second shot on the rabbit. Could have easily not worked out there. Now, I've never brained a rabbit with a rock before. So I couldn't tell you if that's an authentic sound or not. <clears throat> Where'd the rabbit go, though? Ah, there we go, there we go. Come to me, rabbity friend. Pet the bunny. Pet the bunny. Okay, glorious. We're going to be very uh, popular with the local wildlife now that we stink of dead bunny. But that's a couple of guts and a couple of pelts, which I could actually very well justify tearing apart right here. So we're going to check out the area a bit, because I will be coming back. It's a bit of a trek to come all the way back here, but when it's daylight, I will want to be able to check out the indoors of these places. Nope, do not want feathers. Ah, there's a corpse here. Who has nothing on him. I'm taking damage out here, but I'm so high in condition that it's not a bother right now. I've heard the sound a baby rabbit makes before it dies out of fear. I don't think they can die of fear. Right, is it warm in here? It is not warm in here. Uh, in that case, see this bed? I'm going to just pass a little bit of time in the bed. Just to warm up enough. Maybe I can find something good here. There's a crate with nothing in it. Plastic container. Mm, hang on, cloth. Oh, right, a cloth to tear down. Hmm. It's barely cold in here, so what I could do is sleep for an hour and then tear apart these rabbits. I mean, it'll be a little bit cold, but not much. Oh, I wasn't even aware I had frostbite risk. Right, 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 right. Shame there's nothing to wear in here, or if there is, it is eluding my search. It's still not quite as dark in here as it was in some of the other places we were in. And for that, I should be grateful. Right. Rabbity friends. Boy, you are a fat rabbit, aren't you? Uh, let's tear off the hide and the gut for an hour 20. And look at that. Barely costing me any any heat at all. Ah, we can watch some television, thanks to the Aurora. And maybe even look around the place. If we have the artificial light, we shall use the artificial light. Come on, if I can wear just about anything, it would be enough to be warm inside here. Stack of papers is going to work for Tinder. Otherwise, it's just too dark to see what's going on here. So we will continue the disemboweling of the rabbits. And if I get too cold, which I am already too cold, well, first of all, I'm going to drop all of that stuff, and I'm going to take another... Yeah, maybe I'll sleep properly. Take a take a sleep in the bed for, say, two hours. Will you ever do an OPM World Takeover? I don't ever intend on playing EU4 again, period. 
That would be a nice thing to do, but I've done everything that I can think to do in the game. But I've spoken about that often. Right, could really do with more cloth. But for now, I might just... I'm not even sure if it's worth tearing apart the rabbits for the meat. 1.4 kilos of rabbit meat, plus... I mean, that is a good large amount of rabbit meat, no questions about that, but it would cost me quite a lot of time and calories to get, and I should be using that time to be moving around. So, I think I will just grab some cloth here, forego this opportunity for the rabbits, and move on outside. Although, it's timber wolf time, which isn't a great time to be moving around. Crate, broom, metal shell. I also don't have a source of fire to cook this meat in anyway, so... No, I think what I will do... Is I'll go outside, and I'm gonna drop these rabbits so that I don't stink. We're gonna continue on our journey. Story of Commander Shepard's very bad day. Now, Aurora Timberwolves are not gonna be our idea of fun today. However, they're nowhere near as bad as Aurora Timberwolves. Wait, did I say Timberwolf already? I hate being cold because I really do. Point is, these are just regular wolves. Aurora or not, they are just regular wolves. They will only pursue you one at a time. They won't come at you in packs, and they won't give you those little nibbles. They will do full-on, um, full-on struggles with you, which are much easier to deal with. Fun enough. And once you smack them away, they'll become uh, they'll become unhappy and then run away oh, for a bit. So, cold. so as I mentioned earlier, finding sources of ignition is one of the challenges on Coastal Highway. There are plenty of random places that they can loot because there's a lot of buildings. That means a lot of kitchen areas which can spawn them. So I'll certainly want to take advantage of that. But in terms of guaranteed matches, I'm not even convinced this region has any. One can certainly hope. Tell you what though, I'm going to take the high route. There is a trailer to check along the way, and there is a lookout tower, which I'd certainly like to check along the way. So thirsty, I can't think straight. But since I don't have a source of ignition, it means I don't have a source of getting water. I think this is the way to the trailer. I hope it is. The fact that I'm struggling to climb this is a bad sign. Okay, good, the trailer is here. Oof, a bit worried of myself there. Come on, if there's one map that I know inside out, it is Bleak Inlet. But we're not playing Bleak Inlet today, we're on Coastal Highway, and I know Coastal Highway pretty well. I spent a lot of time here thanks to the Outer Loper Merchant Challenge that I did. And oh yeah, it's still dark in here, isn't it? But it's warm. Barely warm, but barely warm is still warm. And somewhat artificially lit. So... Oh, well, it's not warm anymore, I'll tell you what. Give me a little bit of warm-up time in bed. That's just Shepard getting in there, rolling up in the blanket, and then getting back out in five or ten minutes' time. Any interest in Alien's Dark Descent? Haven't I played that? Isn't that a game that came out, like, 15 years ago? Kind of a low-budget multiplayer game? If I'm completely wrong, then I have no idea what I'm talking about, but I still wouldn't really have any interest in it. I have no idea what it is. Wow, okay, we are finding a fat lot of nothing so far, which is not a great sign. Tell you what, though, Shepard is going to take a bit of a nap. The beds here are pretty warm, and then we're going to move on for a bit, at least be awake for the day. Aurora's gone, so it's completely dark out. Or dark inside, rather. It should be light out by now. Oh, well, the aurora's back up and the wind is in my face. Great combo. Starting to feel numb. Actually, it's a bit of a trek to get to the. That's not usual. It's normally not windy and snowy during an aurora. Still learning things about the game, I guess. Right, there should be some houses down there, but I want to take the higher route. Oh dear, wind is doing its magic. Wait, it's very hard to move in this. It's so cold. I'm warming up a bit. Oh, 
really hard to move in this, and it's incredibly cold. Frostbite Risk and Hypothermia are going to build up like crazy. But there's a Lookout Tower, which I should be warm enough in. I can rest up in there. Maybe it's got some goodies for me. There's the Frostbite. Oh, that's a good sign. Because now, every time that I even rest up, I'm still taking a lot of condition damage, courtesy of that dehydration. And soon the hunger as well. So, yeah, we need to get a move on. Cinder Hills is over there. No Cinder Hills for us, please. Jesus, this is some fierce bloody wind. Commander Shepard's barely able to walk in it. Come on, Shep. Oh yeah, that frostbite risk is growing fast. I need anything right about now. It's like XCOM. Well, stop right there. I have no interest in XCOM. New XCOM is just a hell no. Old XCOM is old ass jank. It's Xenonauts or bust for me. Jesus, wind is incredible. Should be a path up to the lookout tower, I think, just beyond this rock. That's double frostbite risk kicking in. This is actually a much worse start than I'd imagined, but not being able to see indoors, plus this rather vile weather, it's doing a double number on me. The wind in this game, I swear, it knows what it is doing. Well, Xenonauts 2 will be releasing soon, but it's releasing into early access, so naturally I won't be touching that with a 50-foot barge pole. But hopefully it'll have a successful early access with a decent 1.0 release, and then I will dig my teeth into it. There we go, the wind seems to have died down. Just in time for me to turn around and change my trajectory. But I am hemorrhaging health right now. Good morning. Oh, why did the music suddenly change? Hold the one be. Let's grab these rose hips. Dream of the day that we can have a cup of tea. Maybe it changed because it became, became morning time. It's funny because Xenonauts, there was a, a letter along with it from the lead developer, which was a retrospective on you know what he learned, what went right and what went wrong with Xenonauts. And I'd be curious to see what lessons were learnt. Right, uh, just, just give me an hour's kip in here, I need to warm up. I'm not getting much health back, sadly. Because I'm not sleeping for very long. In fact, I'm not getting health back at all because I'm dehydrated. Got some food and drink in way of sardines. Lowish quality sardines, so I could get sick from it. Otherwise, there is a fat lot of nothing up here under the chair either. Wow, this has been a bust so far. There's been pretty much nothing we found. And no clothes. No clothes is a real bummer. Plus that frostbite risk is growing dangerously. Alright, do I have something resembling an idea to handle this situation? This is so cold. I just want to lay can, down for If a I can bit. billy goat down here, I might have an idea. I really don't want frostbite. Not on a map like this. Not on a map that I say is so easy. Come on, Shep. Down you go. Normally you need a rope to get down and up here, but Shepard knows better. Should be grateful that I'm not getting any sprains or anything as well, because that would suck. Grab the stones while they're going. Okay, so we are starving, dehydrated, freezing cold. Almost frostbitten ridden. But maybe this corpse will save us? The corpse has nothing. Oh, okay. Poor Shepherd is having a very bad day. Did Jake fiddle with the difficulty settings? No, no, this is still standard interloper. But I do plan on fiddling with those settings for a main run. That will surely happen. 
after I'm done with single region survivor. Right, down we go, go. Down here there are some rabbits, usually. I'm not sure if I really have time to be playing with rabbits. There's not a backpack here, but it appears to be gone. Alright, there's our rabbity friends. So, before I end up playing with you, let's go and see what's going on inside here. Still cold, even in here. Right, just, just let me warm up a touch, please. Oh, I did not mean to sleep. Whoops. I meant to rest, but... Oh god, look at that condition of mine. It's not in a good place. Alright, the first bit of clothes we found are some binned socks. Frostbite risk getting to dangerous levels. Truly dangerous. Very paint that I never really care about. Right, I, I think my only hope at life here is to race over to Conset. Even though I would love this cloth. I'd love it a lot, so I'm going to take it. But I'm about, I'm dead in pretty much five minutes. Mm, yes, yes I am. Well, I'm going to eat these sardines for the minuscule amount of water and nutrition it gives me. It did not give me food poisoning, thankfully. That'll delay my damage for a short while. A very short while. Okay, so I'm grabbing stacks of paper. You know I'm not in a good position. Sadly, Shepard cannot just shove those newspapers down her clothes to warm up a touch. <laughs> Spray paint taunting. Right, any, any, any of those wabbits around here. Actually, maybe I should go hunting rabbits later on when I'm less on death's door. Alright, I'm gonna move on, Shep. I did want those rip. Oh, I can see it now, but no, it's not worth turning around for. Right, Concept to save me, surely. Concept is the big place on the map. It's where I uh, stop the shelves in my outer loafer run. And for this run, it should still have some goodies in it. The moment any of my meters zero, I'm going to stop regaining health and start losing it again. And that hydration is barely going to hold on for much longer. I'm going to take the low road because the high road here can have a bear. And the last thing I, I want is to be food. blindsided by a bear. Come on, down we go, Shepard. I am impressed that you're not getting any sprains so far. Right, there we go. Back to damage central from being incredibly cold. This was a rough start. Uh, just not finding anything. So cold. The only set of clothes we got were socks. Other than that, we, we truly got nothing. Socks don't enable anything. I often talk about good tools being things that enable stuff. I need to find something to drink. But we are dehydrated, freezing cold, about to starve. It's all pretty bad, for Commander Shepard. Okay, and to make matters even more interesting, there's an elk. Uh, not an elk, a moose. And the moose is right next to a house that I wanted to check. Oh, oh, but I got him to bugger off with a well placed stone. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Alright, I'll do this before concept. Stick me, stick me, stick me. One of the things I love about concept is we've got so many uh, sticks around the area. There is an entrance here, right? Yeah, there we go. Hopefully it's warm inside. It is barely... Oh, it's actually rather warm inside. It's plus one degrees. We're still... Uh, dying from thirst, so hopefully there's a bathroom in here. A bathroom to go and get some delicious toilet water out of. An ensuite bathroom, perhaps? There we go. This toilet will be our saviour. Take that water, slurp that water down, and there we go. We've been spared. Spared death by dehydration. Right, so let's take what we can, including tearing apart towels. 
There's a lot of cloth to be had in Coastal Highway, so it's not like we're going to suffer from not being able to repair clothes and such, but uh, hopefully we can find a sewing kit to enable the repair of clothes and the creation of makeshift clothes, because uh, our, our fingers are about to fall off and our scalp isn't looking so great either. Soon we might turn bald and start chasing guests around in our English this hotel. Oh, 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 yeah! These are the best trousers that money can buy. Combat pants. Now that's a find. That is a good find. I'm a little tempted to just take an hour's kip in here. Eat this chocolate bar, actually. Drink a little bit more water and sleep for one hour. This warmth bonus is going to work wonders for us. It's going to be uh, 14 degrees under those covers. There we go. Shepherd feels better already. I really took a big bite out of the um, frostbite risk, although I wish I checked the clothes here first. It would have made me even warmer if there are any. Oh, I'm starving. I know you're starving, Shepherd. But you should be lucky that you're alive after the walk over here. That was rough. Didn't have to be that rough, but it was. Why was it so bad? I don't lose so much health. I'm actually struggling to... I'll have to rewatch that. But that was a lot more health than I was expecting to lose. Like I was ripping those bunnies apart whilst still suffering from hy uh, hypothermic damage. Right, so this is what makes Coastal Highway so rich, in a way. There are lots of houses, and houses generally have kitchens, and kitchens are generally good for resources. Matches, food, odds and ends, sometimes cooking pots, and then you get pinnacle peaches, which are just... Ugh. But I'm going to hold on to the peaches if I can. Maybe I could do some cooking with it if I can find a skillet. Because now we have the cooking recipes. And one thing that I could conceivably make... Oh, it requires cooking level 3. Never mind, we're scarfing those peaches then. But yes, I think it would be much better to use your pinnacle peaches to make a peach pie. You get a fatigue bonus. Actually, then again, how many calories are in pinnacle peaches? Huh. You actually lose calories from making it into a pie? That can't be right. You must make multiple peach pies or something. I'm going to assume you make three of them. There's no way we'd reduce the amount of calories you get. And I know if you make one of the smaller meaty pies, you make three of them. And yes, as we can tell by the recipes I am on the new patch, I was bad-mouthing the patch when I was on Bleak Inlet because the new patch was incredibly buggy. They have addressed... A week later, I might add. A week later, they addressed... Mm, most of the bugs. Some are still there. If your clothes are frozen, they won't defrost unless you take them off next to a fire. You can't just wear them next to a fire and have them defrost. So, better solutions just don't get frozen clothes. And in most situations, there's no reason to get frozen clothes. Okay, I already checked everything upstairs. Alright, I'm going to crouch before I leave because the moose could be here. see it. I think I can hear it though. The moose is a very dangerous uh, foe. It will crush your ribs. Hope nobody needs this anymore. There we go. One of those flares that I could really do with in Bleak Inlet, and indeed I did get them after a while. Alright, fully searched. Keep on moving. A random amount of these houses burned, are burned down on Interloper, I believe. But to me it feels like it's always the same ones that are burnt down and left standing. I'm not so sure about the random part. Nothing in there, nothing in the back. Nothing in the trunk. I shouldn't pop the hood unless I check the trunk. And I might not be able to without a pry bar, so... I need to break that habit. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Uh, Baird Brillis, I believe. The pee-drinking man. He was the fuel of a fair few memes. 
Night is coming, better drink my own pee, etc, etc. You know, it's not that cold. These combat pants are certainly helping with that, but still not that cold. Stubbed my toe trying to drink my own pee. Yeah, exactly. See, you get it. No dog food in the dog house? No. I'm not entering concept just yet because I'm plenty warm right now and it's not that cold. It's almost the warmest time of day as I often like to mention. But not a lot for me out here. Always interested in finding tools and I'll grab every stick around, but... Not a good day for Commander Shepard and getting loads of goods. The burnt out house up there, I don't suspect that's going to do me any good. Kind of saving best to last with Onset. If I recall correctly, drinking your own urine is actually not recommended even in a survival situation. Despite what that one survivalist TV show guy said. I recall watching a documentary about some people walking into the hottest place on Earth, I think, like Death Canyon or something to that effect. And they had a uh, tube connected that would allow them to just constantly drink their own pee. And they seemed to make it seem like a great survival setup there, but what do I know? Yeah, maybe I could set something like add up for DDR. Give me back my own electrolytes. Well, Commander Shepard may be starving, but starvation isn't too bad. The new setup that I'm looking at for doing a, another proper run in this game, however, would have difficulty set up such that starvation would not be a good tactic, because I would lose a, I would lose considerably more health than I would gain back through sleeping. So that would be a good way to force me to keep Commander Shepard well fed. All right. Getting all these houses checked out whilst it's still light, because as we've seen, we can't see a damn thing when it's dark. I think that's a potato. Hey, only edible when cooked, not true. It is getting darker, however, so let's... Where is it? Should be fine enough. Anyway, check everything we can. Sometimes there's teas or coffees inside there. Ooh, maple syrup and crackers. Now that's a whole load of calories which I won't be making use of just yet. I might actually wait until the whole expansion is finished before I do a fresh new run of the game, though I don't like the idea of looting an area and then wanting to go back because they've trickled in a, a new tickle of content for it. I mean, I hate early access and this new DLC essentially being early access DLC is abhorrent to me. But it's what they wanted to do, in my opinion, of mishandled terribly. Right, it is warm in here. Thank the heavens. How am I doing on cloth? Seven cloth, so I certainly want more cloth. I'll tear down those curtains on the way out, so I don't intend on coming back here, so I want to make sure I've got everything that isn't nailed down to the floor. If you were really intent on destroying everything in the game, you could return to all these places, ooh, painkillers and more painkillers, with a hatchet, and perhaps a lot of ways to sharpen said hatchet, and just tear down just about everything, well, everything that allows it. I'm still taking damage from starvation, but I'm sure I can handle it. Mm -hmm. See this table? If I had a hatchet, I could smash it apart. Pardon me. This shelf as well, although it would take quite a while. Okay, right. Uh, being thirsty is no joke. Do not take thirst damage because it is twice as powerful as starvation damage. 
that are lots. I shouldn't complain. We've got uh, salty crackers and maple syrup. And maple syrup, funnily enough, can be used to make pancakes. Sadly, acorn grounds cannot be gotten without a heavy hammer. And I don't think there's a heavy hammer on this map. I'd be happy to be proven wrong, though. It's like I'm happy that I'm warming up in here. I find the idea that a survival game like this adds ingredients that can't be consumed uncooked. By snow. Seems kind of weird. It's now perfectly possible to starve to death with hundreds of perfectly fine calories in your inventory. Yeah, you can starve to death with a tube of oats in your inventory. Heck, I'd scarf down some raw oats if it was that, or starving to death, or even being mildly hungry. Alright, now. This is what makes Concept such a good base, in my opinion. It's It's got loads of space for everything you want to set out. It already has some goodies in it. It has a workbench, and a fire, and a bed inside. And on top of that, it's got so many sticks, and branches, and limbs around its exterior. That you can just you can just live here. Animals as well. There's a bear to hunt. There's plenty of wolves and such out on the ice. Holy crap! It's so warm. I'm warm inside this uh, this car, even with what I've just found so far. Combat trousers are great, but they're not that great. They're pretty amazing though. Not only are they so good, they kind of save you the time and effort of making deer pants because you don't need deer trousers. If you've got combat pants, they are almost identical. In fact, I think the combat trousers are lighter than deer pants. I think the deer ones offer better windproofness. But yeah, I'd, I'd, take, I'd take the combat trousers. They're so good. I think I can use this. Yeah, a hammer is clearly the only way we can crush the acorns. I think they were just looking for a use for the hammer. Because currently it's pretty much dead weight after you've done forging. Although you will eventually want to do more forging. It's forging, not foraging. This will come in and here. there we go. Those, I believe, are completely random matches, which can be found in glove boxes, and that's our ticket to survival right there. Still checking around the front because sometimes there can be tools here, but it appears that this time there are not. Enter concept. I'm gonna want to run around a bit this evening because I'm not tired and I do want a big long sleep tonight after having spent so much energy. So we've got food, 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 oil, well, rolled oats, handy. whole grain rolled oats, sugar, salt, and natural flavors. I don't know why it would have sugar, salt, or natural flavors. Ruining a perfectly good load of oats. I'm just going to shove this to the side. Nobody wants dusting sulfur. Bag of crisps. Ah, now this place is so familiar to me. I've spent so long in here now. I entered this place during my Dark Walker challenge, funnily enough. I put down a spray and tried to sleep in it, but I put down the spray too far away from the bed. But that was okay. I was able to use a bedroll. Did you get that refund? I don't know. I, I requested it mere minutes before this run started. My phone hasn't been buzzing since, so I don't think Steam have approved it yet. And they may not. They don't like to approve things that are over two hours. Right, we've got some tools. I'm just going to put them down. I have no in... I cannot imagine a situation where I need to use those tools. If I had a run where I very, very heavily used a hacksaw, then maybe, because I would want to fix the hacksaw. But tools on their own don't enable anything, that's why I don't have them on my list of items in the top left. That always looks like a can of juice, but it is not. These cardboard boxes can be torn apart, but it's not really worth the time or the calories for it. Sometimes something sneaky can be hidden under these tires, or behind this barrel. Nothing today, and whoa, oh, 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 yes! Thank you. Oh, I often talk about this as being the one thing other than matches or a mag lens that I want in a single region survivor run. We have got that I saw. So yeah, I knew this would be no problem as a run. Hacksaw enables so much. 
Reminder for laundry as requested. Has it been long enough for that? Right, I'll probably go and do it when Commander Shepard sleeps for the night. We're still starving, but we have plenty of ways of getting calories. I always find these mm, wires and things are just taking up too much space. But why don't I just take them and then shove them into this toolbox? Oh, well, wow, jings, this consent is really, really giving it all today. That is also a sewing kit. So, if I could enable it, there we go. Frostbite risk is now a thing of the past. Although I'll need to get that sewing done before night comes. This is loaded. Tools, sewing kit, and hacksaw, all here. Usually a tin of something under the bed. It's a tin of disappointment, and a granola bar, not to mention a bed. It's part of what makes this such a great base. Get all this searching done whilst we are still warm-ish. Oh my goodness, the game's just throwing it all at me. I will take it. There goes any chance of head frostbite. A note that I'm not going to be reading. Your luck turned around pretty quickly. This I always knew it would. I did not foresee any real challenge here. The fact that I couldn't find resources at the start probably just meant that those resources were more heavily concentrated in places that I was going to go. I do not need that shooting guide. No guns on interloper. And if that bothers you, you can enable a setting which is colloquially known as gunloper. Just go to custom settings, set it to interloper, but then go down to gun and rifle spawning and enable it. Simple as that. Jinx. Oh yeah, there were also matches here. Although not inside, it was outside and that was a complete random find in the glove box. But still, I'll take it. And you might reasonably start thinking, you know, I, I, bet, I bet Jake just knows where these things are, he's playing up. I do not. I can have a decent idea of where things are based on experience. But most goods in this game are functionally randomly placed. We took out the water, and I have a rather healthy amount of water. Perhaps a lesser known source of water here is this basin. And for the basin, it has rather a lot. I'm not sure I'm carrying much more. There we go, we're doing so good that we are overburdened with all the stuff we found. My health is a little dangerously low, but that's okay. I like to leave out water, water... Water, water, and I'll glug down some more because poor Shepherd's getting quite thirsty. I'll also ditch any other extra heavy things that I truly don't need, although I said I wanted to do some repairs and crafting, didn't I? I really want some gloves. I do not want to face any frostbite on this run, so let's improvise some hand wraps. Heavens knows I have the cloth for it. There we go, and I could improvise myself a head wrap to wear under the toque, so I will. There's no good reason not to, it's one whole degree of warmth. And the sewing kit should last a good long time. There we go. I'm still at risk if, um, if I get attacked by a wolf, I do die. So let's not be too gung-ho about our life. I guess I can use this locker for general storage. Uh, 54 sticks is a lot of sticks. I do not need that many sticks in my life. Uh, I certainly don't need that book. It takes forever to read. Or that many other books. And I still want this for my Tinder, though. No need for antiseptic. Or that many painkillers. I'll keep the crappier ones on me, although I don't think condition matters at all for them. Ooh, that's a lot of food. Right, um... Take my cooking oil and my potato. Oh, I wonder if potatoes can be bad for eating. Take my oats. I mean, why don't I just leave most of it here? Ah, because I want something to eat before bed, and I want stuff that I can see that I can eat. Uh, I'll eat my granola bars, my crisps before bed, I think. The rest of the stuff can stay in here. I like to always keep salty crackers on me, however, because... They are very light and very dense in calories, so if something terrible happens and I end up stranded, at least I've still got those. But I, need to, I do need to run around outside quite a bit, burn some energy, before I 
Kit Bay. Good evening from Australia, Jake and Chat. Saw a trailer called Frostpunk 2 and immediately thought of you. <laughs> of course. Uh, of course. Uh, wow, I dropped more than I thought. Okay, is there anything to even check out from this location? Concept is great, but it's kind of far from a lot of other things. I could make a bit of a run over in this direction, because I did pass by a couple of houses. Also a good idea to see over the water, see what you're dealing with. Oh, of course, I could go over to Misanthropes. I forget which one's Misanthropes and which one is Jackrabbit, but these there are these two islands over there. Well, on the other hand, it's going to be dark when I go over there, so probably not a good idea. Wouldn't be able to see inside. I do want to run and uh, burn some calories. I'm way too far away to go back and get the rabbits that I left behind, though. Not to mention they're on higher ground. If the wolves are not on the prowl, I could certainly go for checking out the fishing huts. Never know what's inside them. And sometimes some find some really nice goodies, like a nice tooth. Maybe some better gloves than the improvised crap that I've made, and don't get me wrong, it is absolutely crap. Beachcombing could be an idea, but it's a bit of a dangerous trek out there with all the wolves around. Ah, there's a trailer over there. It's probably too dark to look inside the trailer, but I could try. Eh, it's good. Firewood. Eh, I don't really want that rope. Ropes are heavy, and there's no reasonable Nothing place to put it. I could really do with a cooking pot, though, but I'm not actually sure you find one in this place. So that I want to get quite a bit of running in so I can sleep for a good long time tonight. There's a lot of health I need to get back. And it's best to run an empty stomach. Because your calorie meter cannot go lower than zero. Some crows floating about over there. If there's anything worth old Commander Shepard's time. Some meat, for example. Because if this is an animal corpse, I do have the hacksaw to shred it up with. And the corpse is that of a. Dear indeed. Hmm. I will put some very real thought into you. But it might be a little dangerously cold. I do not intend on dying to dying to wolf or cold out here. Oh, it's getting dark out here. Time to look for shelter. Indeed. And to look for sticks is what she really meant. Now let's see if we can actually see in here. Oof, that's grim. It's a shame I don't have a lantern to look inside with. I'm not keen on using a match for this. For all I know, these 12 matches might be the only 12 matches that I get. Also, where did I enter here from? There we go. That's a shame. I wanted to look inside there, but it was not to be. The hacksaw does also enable me to carve up Fallen tree limbs, which I did do back in Forlorn Muskeg, but there's almost no way if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. that I would need to go to that length. Almost no way. Pretty sure it's a good idea to keep pushing in this direction. I'm relatively sure it's a bad idea, but there is a place there called the Tooth. Is it the Tooth? Or the Dragon's Tooth? I'm all but certain it's something to do with the Tooth. And there can be a corpse there that will be worth my time. Shepard's getting a bit chilly, so I will turn around once I check this. Mm. Not 
looking like there's a fat lot of anything here. Shepherd spooking me with her yawning there. I thought that was a wolf. Oh, nothing at the tooth. Oh, well. well, 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 back we go then. Seem a little sad to end it there, but we've done a good job of burning some calories. Well, not that we had any to burn, but it is making Commander Shepard very sleepy. I think there should be more of a penalty to being this hungry. Something like making your... Uh, your tiredness meter fall faster. Okay, what I could do is dip Cinder Hills, yeah, not Cinder Hills, the Aurora Mine. I doubt I could see much inside there, but there is anything real good right at the top, that'd be handy. I will not do the bottom part until I'm significantly more prepared for it. It's a really dangerous place, so many live wires that can do a ton of damage to you. Just looking at one right now would potentially kill Shepard. Sure as sugar, not seeing anything here. I can't even see the way out. Boy, this game loves to be extremely dark. Oh well, shame on me for not having a storm lantern, but we don't know where one is. Oh, it'd be an even bigger shame on me to leave behind these rose hips. A lot of tea ingredients to be making. And I might, might be able to get a hefty amount of cooking experience from making teas. Who knows, maybe we can make that peach pie after all. That's unlikely. I think I would need to cook somewhere in the region of 100 items to get to cooking level 3. In total. I suppose one of the downsides of tying your fatigue to hunger might be that it would be easier to get your health back, you could sleep for a long time. If you could gain your tiredness to go down faster. One of the things that adds difficulty on Interloper is a setting called Sleep as a Resource. And what that does is it means that you cannot sleep if you're not tired unless you have an affliction. And that severely reduces your agency over healing yourself. Right, I'm getting a little bit old here, which isn't good. Where the goods? It's at least warm inside here. Ooh, looks tempting to do something while I'm in the car, actually. Maybe, like, repair something when it's st while it's still bright. This took, for example, it wouldn't take very long. And we are warming up inside this car slightly. And now we'll warm up even more, because this took is in great condition. Two whole degrees on that thing. And then again, I bet the temperature outside dropped like a rock. Well, not too bad, actually. Is that a cooking pot? No, it's a scarf, but... That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. It's a bit of a waste of time. How did it get wet inside the car? Mm, foggy as well. And definitely a clue to get back. Fog could be dangerous for running face first into a wolf, and as I mentioned before, if I run into a wolf, I die. I have no weapons to fight back with. And that alone does not mean death, but it does mean that the wolf is going to take off something like 50% of your health before you smack it away with your bare hands. Fortunately, we're back in the... Sweet spot here. Did I check this car? I can hear the moose prowling. Oh, goodness! Yet more matches. If we just get our condition back, this run is looking good.
hearing those footsteps. Don't just put me off a bit, though. I'm not going to lie about that. Right, so, I have water, I have food, and I have what I need to rest for a long time in a warm bed. Commander Shepard, there's going to be a new woman tomorrow. Fortunately, though, I know this area well enough that I can navigate it in the dark. Here is the bed. I shall eat the food first, because it's going to make me thirsty. So, wolf down those ketchup crisps. Scarf down the granola bar. And the other granola bar. And that's more than enough to sleep on. Uh, yeah, overeating here, Shepard. It's very dangerous in survival situation. And then... 10 hours and nighty night. No frostbite, no, hyper, uh, no hypothermic risk. And I should have at least half of my health back. That's the stuff. Alright. Um, I'll probably still engage in starvation for now, though. Alright, and then it's pretty much up to us how we spend our day. Would love a fry bar. Would also love dealing with some more of the items that I have here. Do I need to do any big repairs or did I handle everything already? These shoes are terrible and this hoodie is mangled. But the hoodie takes a while to repair so it's not up top of my list. I've got way too much cloth so cloth can stay in here. I really don't need that scarf. I mean, honestly, this improvised head wrap, since it's at least at full condition, is a better thing to have than that right now. That is entirely too many recycled cans. One could even say that's entirely too many stones. And far too much charcoal. Oh, goodness, even too many sticks. Although, it would be great for making a nice warm fire outside if I wanted one, and I would love to do a good amount of cooking, but... Probably better to do that in a fiery point. Alright, with what we have, it's pretty much up to us how we want to spend our time here. This is good. For once, some choices on how I can handle things. Maybe that is still too many sticks. I'll just take 12 with me. I have plenty of space for other things. We'll probably cool down quite rapidly out there. But we can always come back here and i got loads of matches. And on top of that, I think I will even leave myself 12 matches here. There we go, full box of matches back at the home base. Get the deer. The uh, the mangled dead deer? I mean, I'd rather try my luck with a fresh deer. If such a thing is even possible, boy, it's relatively warm. I would also like to do some beach comb Well, I didn't search this truck. I didn't search this car at all. Glove box. Nout, nout. No accelerant, so my first fire could go badly and waste some matches. It's 80% chance that I can start my first fire because I have a book. It would be 60% chance if I didn't have something good to light like a book. But I do. But I would like to start getting some torches going. Torches do simplify matters. There's a crashed helicopter or plane up here, as I recall. Always worth a check. Could have some drugs, could have some clothes. I do not want to take a lot of cold damage today, though. And there's nothing terribly wrong with me just sitting by a fire and preparing teas to pass time and warm up. One thing I will not have access to on this map, however, is coal. To my knowledge, there is no coal. Oh, I should do the I should do the islands. In fact, I can combine the islands with some beachcombing if the weather stays acceptable today. Let me check the outside of here for anything useful. There is an out. Yes, I can comb along the beach. There's a good chance I'll find some nice fish doing that. It'll also be nice to compare the dreadful beachcombing experience of uh, this patch's bleak inlet 
with the beachcombing experience here in... What is this? This is Burdock. Knife, hatchet, or pry bar required. Okay. That's new. Burdock has been introduced in the latest update for Tales from the Far Territory. I don't know what you could do with it. I don't know if you can just eat it raw. I suspect that you can. Although one would wonder why you would eat that stuff raw if it's so frozen you need to harvest it with a hacksaw. Well, no, you can't even use a hacksaw. Gotta use a hatchet, knife, or fly bar. Pry bars are weird ones. They're not renewable. You will never find more pry bars rather than the ones that are already in the map. And they cannot be repaired. Oh, there we go. I hate sports vests. They're really Jesus bad. Also, Jenkins, there's not much left of this little plane. Take you. Uh, uh, jump inside here for a moment. Could sure go for some anything in here. Search the wee hatches, check the front of the vehicle. Nothing really here. Pry bars have limited use cases since locked things don't respawn. Yeah, but pry bars are also used for breaking apart ice holes or fishing holes. There are other tools that you could use, but I tend to prefer to use pry bars. I swear I saw that suitcase just move or twitch. This will come in handy. Oh, that will come in handy. Bang, hockey jersey. Lovely and warm. Which is more than we can say for ourselves right now. We're getting a bit chilly. Do I start a fire and warm up and make some teas? You know what? I think I will, but... Do I want to do it all the way up here? It's not very sheltered. Actually, it's relatively flat here, isn't it? Can I get around this tree for it? Alright, I'll, I'll make a... Make a fire here. Use the book. 80% chance of, uh, of catching. We found plenty of sticks, so I'll throw on enough sticks to get enough heat. Come on, little fire. Looking good. Looking great. Once you get to a certain point, it won't fail. Uh, right, temperature is minus 11, so if I just shove on 20 sticks, that should be fine. And now I'm going to make water and make water. I'm going to pull some torches ahead of time because if the wind comes and kills this fire, I want to already have some torches in my inventory. It's just good to have some torches because it means you can 100% light a fire with a match <clears throat> rather than potentially wasting the match, so I'll take those. I might throw in a few more sticks just to get the temperature up, so we want to warm up a touch here. And whilst that is melting, it's time to... Oh god, I don't have any bandages. Let's fix that. Kind of starving here. I, uh, I think I will actually eat this granola bar. Because I'll be here for a wee while. I would like to get a little bit of health back whilst I'm busy dealing with this. So, 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 prepare myself two bits of racial tea, and we're going to make our way around today through power of tea. Wait, how in the world do I have frostbite risk? I guess that was just very slowly going away from getting it previously. Boiling dry, boiling dry, and then cook racial, cook racial, and then continue to make more delicious rose hips this time. I swear rose hip tea gives more temperature. Oh crap. I almost burnt my tea doing that. I should only do those one at a time. The other one can make more water because I'm going to need water for this. Tea boils very quickly. I suppose it burns quite slowly at least. I think they've improved the sound effects for this. The sound of that tea dropping in. Very convincing. I do like it. I like me some good sound effects though. Frostbite risk is completely a thing of the past. Keep those teas going. 
Mm, keep a couple of teas here. If you just ping them like that, they won't they won't burn or boil over. They'll just stay warm next to the campfire, which is what I'm wanting right now. My weight is rather low, suspiciously low even. I guess it's because I've burnt all my sticks here. Boiling nicely, and I still have more of you to prepare. It takes two mushrooms to make a tea, but it takes three whole bushes of rose hips to be able to prepare a tea. I don't know what the game is trying to imply with that. Right, can I make another batch of water? 31 minutes on you. That might just be a little too little. I'll throw in a couple of sticks. How am I doing on Tinder? Oh yeah, I got loads of papers and things that I have for Tinder. How's this hockey jersey doing? Oh, take an hour to repair. I think I'll pass on that. A good idea to do later though. This is a pretty high tier bit of loot to find. The downside is that it's it's at its best blocking wind chill. In fact, I should take off this ragged sports vest because this provides better windproofness than this does temperature and windproofness combined. So if anything, this stuff is better just to harvest for cloth. But I'll keep hold of it just in case I somehow don't find other torso stuff. I am so hungry. I get the picture, Shepard. But you got a lot of running to do today, so... I cannot feed you. I'm trying to think of anything worth our time, though. It only takes 50 minutes to repair my socks, but they're absolutely not worth repairing. Is there anything I've missed around here? I don't think there's birch bark to be had in, in this map. But I couldn't say I know that for certain. Just hear the wolves in the distance. Well, that's one thought. I should be grabbing more torches out of you. I'll throw in the reclaimed wood because that stuff is pretty heavy and not necessarily so great for its weight. And I probably want plenty of torches because there's a lot of exploring to do today. And I would like to keep this fire going for as long as I can. 13 minutes till it's boiled, huh? Okay. If the need arises, I can always start another fire, although eight torches doesn't feel like enough. Not to me, at least. I've another bunch of sticks, I'll take a few more of you. Ten. Ten should do the same. on one more stick. Let that boil. boil. Oh crap, I took uh, unboiled water. Oh well, maybe I can just remember that and not accidentally drink it. Take a fire. I'm just going to drink this tea. Well, most of this tea at least. There we go. I want that warming up bonus. And now we're going for a fairly long exploration. Glad I made those bandages already, because if I break my delicate Canadian ankles descending here, which I did not, then I would want to have them repaired. So we're going to walk all the way over to the entrance to Crumbling Highway. Naturally, we cannot go to Crumbling Highway, but from there we can sweep along the whole coastline and check out the two islands. That's the plan. The plan is unlikely to handle first contact, because there might be other stuff I find and want to investigate, like, say, a really handy corpse. Uh, wolves might maul me and I have to hobble away to survive. Or the wind could pick up, kill my fire, and leave me in desperate need for an alternative idea. However, it's very, very warm. It is only minus two degrees, and because I have the warming up bonus from my racial tea and additional racial tea to drink, we're barely even feeling that. I suppose the only downside is I'm already getting a bit tired. There's a lot of walking to do, which is probably a good reason not to run too much. What do we have here? Oh, good, a human. And this human has absolutely nothing. And down there, it's a... Wow, one deer and a whole bunch of walking venison. Meals to be. 
I'm gonna check over there. On Interloper, I don't think I've ever seen a house standing in that corner. In fact, I think it's even mapped as burnt out houses or something to that effect. Well, we'll see what we can do. Whilst Commander Shepard complains about being so hungry. The new roots below you have healing abilities as well as calories. I haven't tested them yet. Yeah, I have never harvested them, so I'm unsure. If we can find a pry bar, then we could check that out. I suppose I'm pretty grateful that the game's still getting new stuff added to it. I just don't like the nature of being added in a... You know, you buy the DLC and then you, you get very little, and then you get very little a little later, and then another batch of very little. Yeah, that's not for me. Right, it's a little risky to be carrying rabbits with me on a journey like this, but here's my brilliant plan. I'm going to catch these rabbits and then leave them at the first island. <coughs> And to all those people who say you need direct hits, that was a rebound and it still killed the rabbit. Snap! I'm gonna immediately drop the rabbit so I don't stink. I don't know how good that torch of mine was. I wanna grab both of them though. Really bugger that I. Well, that was a direct hit on the poor rabbit's noggin, wasn't it? Let's pet that bunny. Go back and reclaim the fire. Blech, unceremoniously drop you with your pal. How's the fire doing? Terrible. Time for a replacement. Quality of life mod I had ensures that you grab the lowest condition torch when you select it from the radial. Can't imagine why anyone would want the highest condition torch. Burning the lower ones is just more effective on using up your carrying weight. Higher ones are good for when you know you won't have a chance to switch out anytime soon. I will drop both these rabbits right here as I go and investigate. Also, is this tea still warm? Of course it is. Drink you. And boom, gives a full warming up bonus. I don't know why racial tea does that, but the, the tiny little scraps at the end of your cup of tea somehow give a full tea's worth of heating up your body and your... Uh, warming up bonus, so it's good to keep it around for that. I have never, ever found anything in a mailbox, but I have heard that stuff can be found, so I continue to check them. Oh, this ain't so hot. I guess maybe it's you just drinking like those really chunky bottom bits of a cup of tea. That could be cool. I do like myself a nice big... And it is soup, pretty much, not tea. I don't know how you could count mushroom soup as tea, but the game does. Yeah, the, the poor bunnies, right? All they have to eat is frozen grasses. And they are hunted upon by wolves and by humans. Thinking about it, see for uh, commercial rabbit meat today, do we raise rabbits in rabbit farms for that, or do we hunt them? Hunting doesn't seem like a clever idea for something like that. It doesn't seem industrious enough to me. But I don't know much about industrial agriculture. In farms. Hmm. I mean, bunnies are pretty cute. I wonder if the people running them have problems with that. Then again, cows are pretty cute as well. Birds aren't, though. Yeah, if, I had to, if I had to run any of these things industrial, it would probably be a bird thing so I can facilitate their wholesale slaughter. There are giant breeds for meat. Mmm. <laughs> Sounds like something that could be the start of a science fiction film. It's like we, we bred it for its meat, but it simply got too big. The rabbits fought back. even though I didn't check the boot. Sticks, sticks, wonderful sticks, meaning if I need to stop and make a fire, it's an option, and I can think of some reasons why I might want to do that. 
might actually get cold doing this, although I am warm. It is positive degrees for Commander Shepard right now. Every stick is one degree and seven and a half minutes on a fire. It's even more if you level up your fire starting ability, but that's unlikely for us on such a short run. I believe we would need to start 25 successful fires to level up to level 2 fire starting. And in the context of a up to 30 day run, that's a lot of fires. So, if you're around for Bleak Inlet, this routine is going to seem familiar to you. Although there hasn't been a blizzard, the game does still start out with beachcombing items. So we are going beachcombing. We're going to walk out until things start breaking beneath us and then follow the breaking. And that's where we know the tip of the ice. Yeah, there we go. Tip of the ice is here. So we're going to follow it around and find that lovely beachcombing goodness. Sadly, it's rather foggy, so it's a little hard to see where I'm going. I, so in my stream setup, most of my Discord window is obscured by my OBS stream broadcaster software, but some of it is barely visible. And right now what I see in the top right of my screen is C-Space posting an image. I don't see what it is, but it's captioned Resident Evil Stream Rabbit Talk. Actually, maybe it means reply Stream Rabbit Talk. Oh, it does look like he posted something fluffy. Maybe it's a cat and a rabbit snuggled up together. That'd be very cute. So the beachcombing so far has been in line with what I thought, that beachcombing has been nerfed into the ground on Interloper, which is good. It was too strong previous. I'm going to take those worn sports socks even though I don't really need them. Uh, it was far too strong previously. I mean, you saw it in Bleak Inlet when I was doing it just earlier this week. The amount of stuff you could get out of Neptune's bounty was immense. Now we found a pair of socks and three sticks. And they were the worst socks in the game. Not just the worst socks, it's just the bad socks are really, really terrible. Hard to... Whoa, 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 whoa. Too busy thinking about how terrible the socks were. Actually, I was looking at my torches condition and thinking about changing. I didn't even register the cracking beneath me. So sadly, well, sadly for me, I mean, it's good for the game that it's not so strong an interloper. But I'm not seeing any fish. I'm not seeing another nice tooth. I'm trying to think what I could really do with... Well, fish actually is the number one thing I'd like. If I could get myself a nice big fish and just eat to that, then I wouldn't mind filling up on calories for the day. I just don't want to eat my very limited um, manufactured goods that I've found. I do want to get up there, though. This is good, though. Not windy at all. Kind of makes it a shame for me to go up there and process the rabbits, but... I think I'll do it anyway. Checking for beachcombing loot, but there doesn't appear to be any over this side. There's a corpse over there, we don't know whose corpse. Oh, of course we have the hacksaw, we can process the bunnies ultra quick. I was having second thoughts about my process bunny plan, because I knew it would take a long time, but now... Is that another bunny? Well, phew. Sometimes the game is just asking you, please, Jake, consume all the bunnies. We're sick of life. We want to fill the stomach of someone who actually means something. Well, bunny, your dream's coming true today. Oh, your friend has decided to make themselves known. Plenty of room in Commander Shepard's carnivorous stomach. Need that fire back on the double. Get the bunny and get moving. Also, I want my stones back. Yoink. I won't even pick up the fire, I'll just chain it. Because look at it, it's dying. 
there are two islands, Jackrabbit Island and Misanthropes Island. I constantly forget which one is which. There's a corpse over here. It's a human corpse. That's good. I wouldn't have wanted to be tempted by a mixed grill. Although I guess that would still be a mixed grill, you know what I'm saying? Shepard's only been here for one day and is already contemplating cannibalism. I suppose the sad part of this is we'll have to cook outside, which does expose us to the risks of... risks of fire putting it out, but I have an idea regarding that. It's a powerful idea. Also, don't mind me, I think I was missing an additional bit of lichen. go. I reek to high heaven. If there are any wolves in the vicinity, they know that I am here. But I'm gonna come to about here. Drop my rabbity friends. Ooh, I need some firewood as if it's trying to tell me something. Uh, and let's get a fire going, shall we? Can we? I'm gonna burn myself in this thing. Let's put you here. Yeah, I don't really need to use a book for this. I'm not drowning in... Um, in tinder. Right, okay, so this is misanthrope. Jackrabbit Island is the other one. You know what, I want the initial fire going now. Give me that. Give me that fire with a book. I can always make tinder, but I want to make sure I have my fire going first. It's been very generous of the game not to throw Come any on. wind at me today. It's allowed me to accomplish a whole lot. But now what we accomplish is one big bunny genocide. Right, I want this one going for a wee while. I'm going to throw on some cedar. I'm going to throw on a tin and a tin. And I'm going to cook... Well, I'm going to boil that crappy water. I'm going to melt some snow. And I'm going to make another fire. Mmm... I don't have any more books, so just start with this torch. If the torch burns out, well, hey, I've already got this other fire. What I could already do is level up my cooking on, to two, or maybe even three, by shredding these rabbits, but uh, these days I kind of look down on shredding. Perfect. Try not to, not to do it much myself. There we go. That was probably too much to throw on you, but it's not like I'm hurting for... Um, oh god, that looks very sad when the light out like that. Not like I'm hurting on sticks right now, or access to sticks. So it only takes 12 minutes to carve this bunny up. Thanks to my hacksaw. Carve up bunny. Cook up bunny. So... Keep that going. I want to be making water while I'm here. Carve up bunny. In only 13 minutes. Cook up bunny. One minute till boiled. Yeah, just keep the water going. I can keep water over here at the island. This could be my getaway. 15, 15, 33 minutes. Throw some additional sticks there. Bunny! Give me the goods. Far fewer calories to use tearing this apart as well. Right, we got one bunny. Throw in more bunny. You're boiled, and I will take you, and I will use this slot for cooking more bunny. 9 minutes, 37 minutes, 7 minutes, 14, 41, 1 hour something. So grab another bunny and tear out its whole kilogram of meat. Doing this by hand would take so much longer. As a side, I would also need the rabbits to be defrosted, although that's not a problem in this particular situation. You're boiling dry. Uh, I might be able to squeeze a bit more water out of you if I just stick on two sticks. On goes you, on goes you. These will be going quite nicely. I'm not going to eat these rabbits, but I will drink a bit. The warmest time of day, I should really shred these rabbits for their guts and things. But I do also want to continue my journey. I think, despite the risk, I am going to carry these rabbits 
I'm gonna smell like hell. Every wolf in town is gonna want to know my address. But if I make it over to uh, Jackrabbit Island, then I can also process these rabbits there and leave them there. Four of them for curing, that's enough to get myself the rabbity um, hand things, which is better than the rabbit hat at this point, because I've got good, ra uh, good non-rabbit goods on my head. Seven minutes, 24 minutes, an hour, 27 minutes. Let's make ourselves some racial mushrooms. See one of the rabbits cooking there nicely. There we go. 11 minutes to boil, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, you'll be fine. And again, I won't eat my fresh rabbit till later. I'm going to keep this fire going and bring it over to there. And if the wind or a blizzard hits, then I can just deal with my regret then. And it will be considerable regret, actually. Ninety-two percent condition on the rabbit. That's a good problem. All right, very good. Uh, the embers will cook you. Uh, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna quickly loot this place and then leave. Yeah, my greed is telling me not to eat though. I might actually go for well-fed. It depends on the wildlife situation. Not made a time here, so let's make this quick. Spray paint, absolutely never. It's five. Uh, it's half a kilogram of wasted everything. Shepherd, I could lose a place faster than you. Oh, 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 decent, you say? That is actually superior. I will wear that. Superior than having the hockey vest be my uh, wind absorber, I mean. Windproofness only applies to the most outer layer of that type of clothing that you have. So your outer hat, for example, will provide its windproof bonus, but the inner one will not. Provided you're wearing an outer one. And of the four things you can wear on your torso and your leggings, only the most outer one will count. Oh, tin of coffee is a big find. Tin of coffee is a real big find. I might actually drink some coffee today so that I can keep going for a bit longer. Mm, maybe not, though. I, I am well set up for a good long night of sleep. I bet Baron wishes I could be drinking that coffee, though. My hatred for coffee in real life knows no end, but in-game coffee is one of the best goods in the game. Ooh, book. That's good for starting another fire. I don't recommend carrying lots of books because they're very heavy, but carrying one or two books is very good for starting fires. I wish I'd left some water outside to boil whilst I was doing all this now. You keep saying good coffee. Is that you just saying it's good or is that some kind of Canadian advertisement? Where they advertise Tim Hortons and they go in there and go, mmm, that's good coffee. And I imagine it's not particularly good coffee. In my last four runs, I attempted to get the Steam Achievement for not killing anything in the first 25 days. I couldn't do it. It didn't take longer than 12 days until I took the easy way out for food and I killed a rabbit. But why don't you just get a wolf to kill a deer for you? Then you have food for almost those 25 days. Alright, there we go. Looted enough for my satisfaction. Is my water ready? Boil. Give me the can. Boil. Give me the can. Give me the rabbit, 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 rabbit. And I'm still underweight. Give me my two torches. That's one. Hey, that's a good one. What's my torch? Uh, I'm going to stick on two of you and take two torches. But I've burnt a fair few torches getting this far. Uh, should have probably heated up some tea. I mean, it's pretty warm right now. I surely will not need this tea. Just give me the torch and we'll go. And look at that. It's plus two degrees and I don't even have particularly good gear. Coastal Highway is just easy mode. 
third easiest map in the I game. I drink almost anything about now. Keep your Milton. Keep your Mystery Lake. This one is taking the bronze medal for easy zones. I better not die now. That would be tragic. I'm not even going to pick that, actually. We'll pick that up. I'll mistake it for uh, beachcombing goods if I don't. Speaking of, we're going back in the beachcomb. Over there is Jackrabbit Island, so misanthrope, Jackrabbit. And that's part of what makes this a very forgiving map, is even if you're out on the ice and completely lost, you have two massive islands with uh, shelter and beds for if you end up out of whack. Because the biggest, most dangerous thing that can happen to you on this map, Coastal Highway, is that you're out on the ice, maybe you headed out for beachcombing or fishing or hunting, uh, and then a blizzard hits, and suddenly you have no idea where you are or where you're going. It's scary. It's really scary. However, if you just go in a direction, you'll be fine, because you'll either hit the coastline, and the coast is pretty linear, just follow it one way or the other. Second sewing kit is very welcome, thank you. And now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure you can find a hammer here. So you either get to the coastline, or you end up at the water, and if you follow the water either way, you will either hit one of these two islands, or you'll hit the edge of the map where it can transition to um, Crumbling Highway, or you can follow the path up towards the ravine. And both of those should give you a good enough idea as to where to go to find somewhere else. For example, even if you have no idea where to go if you hit the path through the ravine, you can just double back, follow the coastline, and you know you're going to hit Jackrabbit Island. Power of logic. Although, you will need at least a bit of map knowledge for that. This game is very intimidating with no map knowledge and no maps. I very early in my long dark career just went uh, scrambling over to a map because I didn't think it was very fun not knowing anything. But now I know enough to generally not need maps and that feels good. Ooh, I said there's no birch bark on this map. I neglected to consider the fact that beachcombing can give birch bark. I think I'll check around and then head up. And I will probably even spend the night here. Oh my days, the serendipitous rabbit has arrived once more. Getting pretty good at beaning these rabbits. Yeah, I'm, I'm under the impression that in real life scenarios, when people have to navigate in the dark or a real blizzard or a sandstorm, people actually end up walking in one big circle. I don't think I would walk in a circle, though. I am quite confident that in such a situation, I would be making Stars of David and loop-de-loops and the infinity sign, because my orienteering skills in real life are abysmal. This is nothing that's made up for stream or ha-ha, Jake's blind and doesn't know where he's going. No, I am hopeless at orienteering. On the plus side, I do enjoy aimlessly wandering around, so I still get my kicks out of getting lost. Heck, I think it makes life more enjoyable. I can hear a wolf eating or hunting or one way or another doing nasty things to a rabbit. And as the Lord Protector of all of bunny kind, I need to put an end to this eagle. But I do want to check that corpse over there first. Which probably means the rabbit is going to be completely devoured by the wolf before I even get to it. So let's run. Oh, actually, if I run anymore... Yeah, it's brain risk. A corpse is a human, though. Humans can be good for us. Gabriel Knight said it in Gabriel Knight 1 when he read... Oh, yeah, that's right! That is right. Mmm, good coffee. And now I say it, or I think of it whenever I get coffee. Now, oh, good on you. Right, dare I continue my beachcombing before I double back? I think I dare. I'm gonna leave all of my rabbity goods there whilst I go over and check out, just so that I... Just in case I find a really heavy fish, for example, I don't end up weighing myself down too much. 
So the fruits of our beachcombing include one bit of washed up wood. A bit of cured leather, which I could use to repair my god-awful shoes. And they are pretty terrible. They're in something like 20% condition and afford me nothing more than outer protection for my shoes. Huh. I did not know that recycled cans could turn up in beachcombing. And I spent a lot of time searching for every different thing that could beachcomb when the update was introduced. Because the, the mechanic fascinates me. I think it's very well thought out. In a game with resources that are finite, but a player base that's going to want to play forever. How do you reconcile these? Well, let's bring a fairly out-of-the-way way to go and get infinite resources. And it feels much less uh, heavy-handed than bringing in something like an NPC trader. Although, even though I say that, the plan is actually to bring in an NPC trader. I don't know how I feel about that, but probably not great. Is there anything more to beach film over here? Ah, uh, you know what? We're really tired. The sun is setting. Let's head back to Jack Rabbit Island and disembowel these rabbits, eat their flesh, and call it a day. That was a very successful run. I really expected something would throw a spanner in the works. Heck, even wind would have thrown a spanner in the works, but it is as still as still can be. And I'm still warm. Yeah, I use a drink. This is almost unheard of an interloper. Oh, I left the spray can behind them. I, don't, I do not pick up spray cans. Not unless I immediately have a place that I want to use it or drop it. And since I never use them, that means drop it. I hope these rabbits are not frozen, though. 24, 24, 24, 14, that's fine. As long as it's under 50%, you can still manhandle them. And I'll be manhandling up, up there on Jackrabbit Island. There's a wolf there that can smell me. Unsurprising, given how much I reek of rabbit right now. But if that wolf thinks he's getting a free meal, he's got another thing coming. Never tried that before, but that seemed to work pretty well. It, uh, it saved me from having to just stop for a while. I was able to keep moving because I threw the torch. It was a little risky, though, come to think of it. If he hadn't fallen for that little trick and he decided to attack me instead, there's a good chance he could have killed me. And even if he didn't kill me, he would certainly put me in the danger zone. I'm overburdened, so climbing up something like this is very dangerous for my brutal Canadian ankles. Probably notice it was slowing down, it's because we're really tired and starting to be quite overweight. But we can see these doggy tracks in the snow, and we are fairly certain that he hunted a rabbit earlier. But he probably ate the entire rabbit. You know, I've never seen an animal fully devour another animal. I've had plenty of cats and dogs, but the cats tend to just play with their food. I've, I've had plenty of disemboweled mice and birds and things left as we presents. And I wonder if anybody's seriously looked into that. I know that the, the common saying is, oh, they think we can't hunt for ourselves, so they're helping us out by giving us da-da-da. Is that really true, though? I don't feel like it's really true. I can drop any of this gear. Okay, Commander Shepard, I want to fire. You might fail this, which would be dangerous, because then the torch goes. Don't snakes eat whole? Yeah, but Come I've never over. lived somewhere with snakes, to my knowledge. Should have dropped my stuff. Oh! Whoa, now. Right, sticks. Keep this fire going. Fire, come with me. My goods drop here. Where was that? Where was that noise? There! Don't you dare hurt that rabbit. Alright, let's give this bunny some dedicated this CPR. Handy. Don't worry, I'll keep you nice and warm by this fire. 
It reminds me of a story that's uh, actually quite morbid and you're going to want to turn your ears off if you are particularly keen on cats, but uh, there were a couple of feral or wild cats, probably feral, they didn't have that chunky faces of wild cats, uh, living near me and one of them had a whole lot of kittens. A lot of them, I think it was a litter of about eight kittens or so. God, it's a struggle to squeeze those out. But uh, yeah, one of them wasn't doing so good, so uh, my mother took that kitten out of the litter and uh, turned on the oven to blast some warm air onto the kitten to try and keep it alive. It didn't work. Poor kitty did not survive. Right, this is the one we just got. We can tell because it's the least frozen. Oh, Jesus. Are you coming for me or what? Yes, you are! Get off of me! Okay, right. That was very, very dangerous. He wasn't spooked by the fire. Okay, uh, amazingly, he didn't lacerate me half to death. Yeah, he came around the corner, he didn't even notice the fire, so he just went for me. This has just become very dangerous, so we need to get in and sleep. It was almost the end of us. Getting heavy. Put you into torches and get back in. Look at that, it took me all the way down to 10% health. I am in the big danger zone now. Ooh. Okay, okay. Worry not. However, I am in a rancid state right now. Um, where's the bed? There's the bed. Okay. Oh, flower. We're going to loot this place. I'm actually going to eat already because I just want to be regaining some health right now. A little too dangerous to let my health fall any further. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Well, that is a good find. I don't have it on my enables list because all it really enables is like 10 to 15 percent more calories and harvesting of empty cans, which is not usually something you care about. Although in Forlorn Muskeg it was a huge deal. Still though, it is nice to get. That was so close to me dying. That was very very scary. And then the wolf started doing his weird run-around routine. I should have, the moment he uh, looked like he was doing that, I should have jumped into the house. But I, I just thought for sure he must be spooked by the fire, right? Ooh, better gloves. They're even in new condition, that's good. Alright, phew. Empty, 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 empty. Fridge and freezer. Good. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna sleep before I disembowel these rabbits. This will come in handy. I don't think it will, Shepard. It's just a t-shirt. Right, let's just uh, get eating, shall we? I'll just fill Shepard's belly because I have a lot of healing to do, even to the point where I want to heal during the day. Do I want drink. to eat that as well? I may as well. Carbo load for Shepherd. Drink as well, because I don't want to be taking condition damage from being too thirsty. It's twice as bad as starving. Anything under the bed? Doesn't look like it. Anything in the ensuite? We'll actually leave that wall. Actually, hmm, let's take it. I'm not sure I can carry much more. That's fine, Shepard. Hey, this is where some birch bark or some herbal tea would really come in clutch. Alright, so if I ever come back in here in a desperate need. 
There's two bottles of water for future Shepherd. This fire is about to go, and that is okay-ish, or is it? I think it is okay. The bed is right here, and I don't have any meat to care about. I was wondering if I wanted to harvest that rabbit right now, because it's going to go off pretty quickly. But cooking it will give it quite a lot of condition back, and I can worry about that in the near future. Tomorrow morning I'm going to spend a lot of my time here, because I'm going to disembowel those rabbits. I'd rather do it tonight just to get their curing going faster, but I'm in, just in such a bad state that I want to... Hmm, well, you know what? No, I built up on all those calories, that was my mistake. But I wouldn't want to do this whilst dying, would I? No, Shepard can sleep for now. Yeah, well, dying there would have been a real punch in the fried. Could be bright. Yep, just look how bright that is. Mm, yeah, drink that, Shepard. Ah, well, I can pass time anyway by tearing apart my rabbity friends. Starting with the heaviest ones, because they got the meat on them. Decent eating on you. Might actually have a fire just to get that going, but I want to leave that meat outside so it spoils slower. How is it still it's so dark in here, though? Um, yeah, good thing it didn't infect me doubly, which it could have done in that encounter, because I only had enough of that to um, to deal with one infection. I'm just doing stuff until it's light enough to properly see here. There we go, go. Nothing on the ground apart from this torch, which I will salvage for the stick. Ooh, yeah, honestly, that, that wolf attacks really put me a bit on edge. My health should be almost full right now. Instead, I was almost made a fool. Right, out we go, go. Let's dump the rabbity meat. Three bits of meat. Yeah, and the rest are proper rabbits. And the rabbits shall be uh, disassembled in here and then left <clears throat> in here to uh, mature. Now, when it comes to the rabbits, it's actually faster to scoop their guts out using the hacksaw. Shaves off 10 minutes and a reasonable sum of calories. So let's get all the guts out first. When it comes to calories, I'm not swimming in in ways of getting them back right now. This is why I didn't want to eat before doing this, because it burns additional calories. But on the plus side, every hour that I spend doing this is 1% condition I'm getting back, just thanks to having all of my needs fulfilled. So I would be hard-pressed to complain too hard about the situation. I need to find food. You'll be fine, Shepard. And if all goes uh, to pot, we still have some delicious dry crackers for you. All these guts are coming out by saw, and then I'll rip off the hide by hand. Because it actually takes longer to do the hide with a hacksaw than by hand. I think we're going to have to check that right now. So we're going to do all these again. Hide. Yep. One hour by and more calories by the hacksaw. I don't want to take the starvation damage, but I probably will. Just get all of this stuff torn off. I will, however, drink. Let's get those uh, guts curing already, since those take the longest. On the plus side, when I'm out and about, I won't stink of anything, unless I don't eat that rabbit meat. And I'm a little torn on that meat, actually. Do I cook it and eat it at the expense of a match, or do I not? I might, actually, just so that I have a torch to wander around in. It depends entirely on the weather. 
If the weather isn't windy, I will use a match and make a fire and eat that rabbit. If the weather is windy, and I thought I just heard the wind picking up. You know, it says 40 minutes. How am I not level 2 carcass master by now? Wow, we've got to harvest a lot of rabbits to get that harvest mastery up. With flour and water is hard tack, one of the new recipes. Let's have a look, shall we? I would need a cooking pot to make porridge, but I could do that with the oats that I have back at base. With a skillet, which I do not have, I could make some hard tack. Acorn bannock, regular bannock. And I do have the cooking oil. I'd rather make pancakes, though. Look at that. Wow, 500 calories on the pancakes. Even more with acorns, but I can't ground acorns without a hammer. Anyway, that looks like a pretty good trade there. Mmm. Unfortunately, I need cooking level skill 2, which I don't have. Right, so a staggering six rabbit pelts here. Did I leave any rabbit pelts anywhere else? No, I think I took all of them here. Or did I disembowel rabbits earlier? I don't, I don't recall doing so. Would have been cool, though. Right, 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 right. Quick check of what I have. This looks fine. This looks okay. Uh, these are problematic. Decent down vest beats the crummy sports vests. I'll just tear them apart for now. Actually, it's the best time of day. I shouldn't be wasting my time tearing apart clothes. I should be getting a move on while the going is good, assuming the going is good. Yeah, the recipes are in the DLC. Alright, conditions seem fine enough. I am going to start a fire, cook and eat this meat, and then get moving. Actually? Uh... That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Yeah, go on then. Let's have my fire a little bit more out in the open so the wolves aren't going to blindside me this time. Yeah, that wolf almost ended the whole run. See, it, it does damage in trickles and then short bursts of it, and it was one short burst away, or rather one more short burst away, from putting an end to Commander Shepard's illustrious career. <sighs> right, that's one more of you done. I'll just slam on two bits of reclaimed wood. Boy knows how here. 70 minutes, 31 minutes. Put on the longer ones first. And while we're at it, I, mean, I don't know if I'll need it to you where I'm going. Let's have the option. Whilst that's going on, I don't really have anything to do here. Anything to repair. Okay. Repairing you only takes 30 minutes. Go for it. Well, I failed immediately. So, when in doubt, just try again. It's not a very good thing to wear, but it's the best I've got for now, so... Hope for a miracle. No, we failed yet again. Off you go, on you go. A little drink just to prevent dehydration. That'll prevent that burning. Take you off as well. And I don't really have time to... Do anything in you. Oh, a cup of coffee, of course. Gotta get that good coffee going, right? Some of the wolves to bother me. That's the main reason I am uh, having a fire. My health is too low to travel without protection right now. I think it's just wolf down on the ice over there. Having a toolkit might actually be pretty good, considering I now have a way to repair my hacksaw, and it's probably going to see a lot of use here on Coastal Highway. Do I actually want to drink that coffee? I actually think I might drink that coffee, so I can get a lot of running done as I scour the area. Actually, no, I don't want to run because I've got all these calories in my belly. Tell you what, I will have the coffee, and then I can drink it if I need to. For now, though, it's time to gobble up all of this delicious rabbit so I have calories in my belly. 
And it's time for Shepard to have a nice, sensible walk along a coastal highway. There's plenty of food back at base, so I'm not too worried about that. Mouth is so dry. That's okay, Shepard. We've got you covered. I'll drink this if need be. I will take another view of you. There we go. Four should do. One. Two. Now yeah, look who's coming. Fido wants a piece. Come on, get that last torch before it goes down. There we go. Ah. Alright then, I'm taking two more torches. Fido's just playing with me now. Not in a good way. In a down boy kind of way. Uh, you know what? I do not want to play with you, Fido, so you just go. And Goody's going the right way, which is away from me. Right, so unfortunately it's foggy once again. Continuing to make it a little difficult for me to see what to do, but I think I'm going to go all the way to the bear area. Does that make a lot of sense? If I have to spend another night, I don't have a lot of... Oh, no, I've got salty crackers. And more water than I know what to do with. That's fine, I can, I can afford another night away from base. We'll be fine. So just not run too hard and expel, expend too many calories. Yeah, the bear area, well it has the bear, which would put a, a swift end to Commander Shepard's illustrious career. But I do have fire, and fire cows a bear as long as you put an actual campfire down. What I'd be more interested in is the stuff in the area. I have before found a fire striker there. I'd be keen to see if it's going to make another appearance for me. I guess I was in a blizzard through the night. I'm not seeing any fresh beach combing things. So, oh right, uh, crows, not corpse crows. This fishing hut, which I think I already checked, does show that I'm going towards the edge here, which is good. That's what I'm trying to do at least. Yeah, the door's open as well. Hello, is that a corpse? Maybe the beach coming dip shop up uh, some new stuff then. A wolf corpse is indicative of, well, a wolf. It's frozen, of course. Uh, nothing stopping me from hacking some meat off of the poor boy. Uh, a kilo of wolf meat. But, eh, I, I don't really need it. If I'm going to be doing some animal harvesting, I would rather just get a full-on deer hunted by a wolf for me. That'd be easy pickings on food. Wow, oh, I got some crap torches here. Yeah, time for 1% parasite risk. Uh, even 1%, I don't like those odds. Parasites are very debilitating. Your hunger goes through the roof, I think you get more tired, you lose max stamina and fatigue, as I recall. I don't know, it's been a while since that outer over run where I got my little internal friends, but I mean, I want to do it again. It's quite the opposite, I would even say. I think this is an island. I think I've made it to the mainland now. Which means there'll be a road to follow in that direction until it just completely crumbles away. A road to where, though? I think a road to Bleak Inlet. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're here. So it would be a road that leads to Bleak Inlet. Even There's even a reference to a uh, road to Coastal Highway in some Bleak Inlet papers. Not my problem, though. We are done with Bleak Inlet, I'm not going back there unless it's for a, a new big run. Eh, I do really think there'll be a new big run. I've played a lot of Long Dark and quite a lot of it on stream. You could be forgiven for thinking I might be tiring with the game, but uh, I don't think I am. I'm still enjoying Single Region Survivor, I'm getting a kick out of really learning these maps. I just want to put it together in one big run. But it needs a good goal. And I think I have a goal in mind for that. The, it'll be put to some incredibly punitively hard difficulty settings. 
A night of sleep, as you saw, gives me back about 35% of my health bar. In fact, we can get some numbers on that, can't we? We went from 12% health up to 46% health. Not bad. Wow, yeah, that wolf took us all the way down to 12. That's a big danger. And I don't have any stims. And I don't think there are stims on Coastal Highway. What I'm getting at is on the new settings you only re recover about 5% health for sleeping. And normally you get 1% health back per hour just for having all of your needs fulfilled. I don't know how low it is on the lowest setting, but it's very, very low. You'll just have to trust me on that. But hey, I know you guys trust me. Why would you not? Yeah, that's the thing. I will probably wait for the DLC to be fully released. Because I do not want to have that experience of, oh well, we're going to have to go back to Bleak Inlet because they decided they wanted to add one more recipe. Mm -mm. Oh, you know, it is very tempting to tear you apart, ravaged dill carcass. Especially since I don't think I'll ever be coming back here. It gives me an opportunity to cook whilst you're being... Oh, it's not a lot of anything though, is it? Uh, we'll do it anyway. harvesting that meat's quite quick and easy. Come on, little fire. Just don't get hit. I was next to a fire. I should have been safe, but the wolves don't... If the wolves aggro on you before they notice the fire, then you're just out of luck. Get some water going, even though I have a ton of water. And rip that meat off, please. Only six minutes. If I were to do this by hand, it would have taken, I don't know, but longer than six minutes. I don't need its guts, but I do want its hide. I will let you defrost while that cooks. And that will probably add just a little bit more stick in case this thing goes out. I'm still going to investigate this area because I have found a fire striker here before. The exact location, I don't quite remember. I doubt it was just laying on the snow, though. Fire strikers are white or silvery. I'm not going to notice it on white or silvery snow, let alone in fog. So it's probably something like a backpack or a corpse around here that had it. Although, I don't know. In my, in my mental image, it was just sitting there. Oh, well, here's a backpack. Take it. Crisps are not a fire striker. Hello, hello? These feathers are not fire strikers, but you might be. He is not. And I don't see one near him either. It's marginally disappointing. Not really it. No fire striker, huh? Oh, the weekly one-shot was abysmal. I could not bear the thought of playing it for six more hours. I tell you, people are getting really good at sneaking in the weekly one punishments lately. Okay, I don't want to be here for too long, but fortunately, in ten minutes that'll all be good to go. So I'll spend my ten minutes harvesting my crappy torches. Yeah, this is right next to Rockfall. Or I think this is Rockfall. The Rockfall overlooks something to that effect. But yeah, no sign of the Fire Striker. Although I have found one here before. Maybe I should have that coffee. You know what? Everyone likes some good coffee. Oh, oh, that's right, I wanted to harvest your hide, didn't I? That's going to take 40 minutes by hand. Certainly, uh, get on better with some good coffee by hand. There we go. 
I'll just eat this. I certainly don't want to carry it around and attract more predators. I had a problem with them earlier. Right, that. That coffee I will enjoy after I'm done with this ravished doe carcass. And I will even have more water at the ready, because I seldom see a reason not to make more water. If you have a fire going and nothing better to do with it, make coffee. Uh, make water. Not coffee. Although I could actually make more coffees. There we go. Just rip that hide off with bare bloody hands. Costs quite a bit of calories, but crunch. Get water, get you, get water, get you. Uh, I'm just going to drink this coffee. Yum, yum, yum. The character always has, or always starts with one can on interloper. But it's a lesser known Canadian skill that they can spawn plastic bottles and porcelain cups, and even these little metal coffee cups out of the ether. Canadians don't like to share their secret on how, but they like to show off that they can. Right, I'm going to check out Bear Creek. There is a temptation to go all the way up. In fact, while I'm here, I will. I will go all the way up and over to the... Um, the whatchamacallit. Yeah, to that. There are plenty of places that I could spend the night if I need to along the way. Uh, I mean the trailer that was up by my spawn. It's just I'm as far away from my main base as I could possibly get, so why not completely check it while we're here? Well, one reason is that it might be that I miss a Polaroid and I need to come back here to find it. I'm pretty sure the, pol the Vista location, where you do the mapping for the Polaroid, is up on top of the... Ooh! I said there was no coal on this map! I was a dirty, filthy liar. There is coal on this map. There's lots of cattails on this map because this uh, this stream is fresh water. Oh, this is good. So yeah, I reckon the Vista location is up the tower and the Polaroid could be anywhere. I won't ask for the Polaroid location until we get towards the end because I think it's a bit more exciting to maybe stumble across it. But I think for all the maps I do, I would quite like to get the Polaroids done. I'm trying to remember where the um, prepper's cabin is here. Um, you know what? I don't think I know where the prepper's uh, prepper shelter is. I'm sure I've found it before. I have gone around to all the prepper locations in the game, but I don't think that means I have them committed to memory. Here is Bear Park or Bear Picnic area. Certainly have had spooky uh, times here when the bear has just strolled out of the woodwork to say, Why, hello there. Shouldn't have taken this way around. I missed some fresh cattails. It's still really warm though. It's only minus two, so we're barely losing any temperature. A bear attack could kill me. I'm not 100% sure, but it feels like it could kill me. Wolves are actually more deadly than bears, but the bear problem is they do a lot more damage to your clothes. Actually, did I assess the clothes damage from that attack with a wolf? Quick check. Combat pants got scuffed. My jersey, maybe a little. Ah, oh, he bit into my toque as well. All in all, though, not that bad. No, no Aurora Koei, but it's only day four. And Aurora Cave is something I want to take care of whilst I'm pretty tooled up for it. It's a good place for resources, though. Mm -mm. Again, the major downside being the existence of the bear. But I don't stink... And the bear is not very aggressive. I mean, why would he be? He rules the roost. And he's an all-around friendly chap.
fairly certain the Polaroid is hiding inside the bear. Only if I find it, and then he proceeds to eat me. I think we're getting a not insignificant amount of health back, though, just from being here with all of my needs fulfilled, even hunger. I don't normally keep my hunger fulfilled when I'm traveling around, because all this moving burns calories. Now, yeah, though, that's what we're doing. Probably should take the creek path. It's got all the cattails, but I want to check around the side as well. Weight-wise, I've still got 5 kilos of allowance, and even then it's fine to go 5 or even 10 kilos overweight. But going over 10 kilos overweight I do not recommend, unless you have a, a real plan for that, and I do not have a real plan for that. Not least of all because I no longer have my fatigue bonus from my coffee. And it's getting quite a bit darker and quite a bit colder. This fire is helping keep the edge off things. But I do think I'm going to end up sleeping in the... Oh, buck's scaring me there. It is a buck, right? Buck and doe? Deer and doe? Buck the male deer, go the female deer. As I have mentioned before, the animal kingdom is not my strong point. Me crawling two regions back to Mystery Lake with 200 cattails, because what if I need them? Well, if you need them, you should have left them behind where they are. Cattails never go bad. You just leave them there to pluck out of the ground at a later date. The reason I'm taking these is because I don't ever intend to come back here. I don't think 200 cattails would weigh that much, though. They're 50 grams each, so 100 is only 5 kilos. Isn't that right? Mm, I'm going to go with yes. Maybe 10 kilos. Cattails are so powerful, of course you want to grab them. I'll tell you what would make this significantly less fun and funny for me is if an aurora hits, then suddenly I won't be looking out. I won't be looking out for a bear, I'll be looking out for an aurora bear, which is a very different kettle of fish. I thought there was a corpse here. Or a backpack, or a green box, or just something. Something more than nothing. Every time I've been here, I've spotted a green box. Trees. Just something, but today it's nothing. Okay, well on the plus side, all these cattails mean that I will not have to worry about eating where I'm going. I'm still going to continue up this route. More cattails, more better. Although it's getting real cold, the wind chill is hitting now as well. I'm going to go around the side here. Maybe up as well. I can't see any immediate cat to Well, I did see some, but I'm heading up here. I think there's something up here. I don't mind running a bit. Shepard uh, could do with being a bit more tired for the evening. Ooh, yeah. Building. And actually, this wind is picking up. So I would like to get inside with my fire and uh, loot it. Maybe even deposit some heavy things before I head back out. Getting greedy. I should really be inside with my fire right now and not out picking ultimately unnecessary tea ingredients. There we go. I wonder if there's a bed in here. I don't have a bed roll. Yeah. Oh boy, not only are there is there a bed, there are beds in here. Yeah, at least the roar bear does go, so you know he's coming from a mile away. I also don't tend to have problems with the roar bears. So they're not scared of fire. Big whoop, how often do you actually scare away a bear with fire? You just outcrawl a bear. Even if you stink to high heaven. In a way, they're kind of good as well, because they're going to scare away the wolves. 
one of the problems with wolves is they they sometimes, after following you for a wee while, do just decide to aggro, and that can be a problem for you. But the bears, I have never seen a bear just aggro you. They're only going to go eight on you. If you get a little too close for comfort. I will keep this place in mind as a backup place to run to. Otherwise, oh. I will continue on my little rampage here. And I'm going to leave these bunnykins alone. I've already torn apart six bunnies. Admittedly, I do want a seventh for the bunny hat. But that's not a high priority. And I would certainly do it closer to home. I'm quite far from home. I gotta say though, I, I don't remember the stream being so rich in cattails. That's another setting actually that I will be reducing on my big run of this. The frequency of tea ingredients and cattails and just natural ingredients. Uh, I think even sticks are included in that. Are on interloper set to high. Kind of surprised me when I read it, but yeah, on interloper, natural ingredients are actually set to spawn um, about as often as possible. Well, I don't know if it can go to very high, I guess I'd have checked that. But, it, that means it can be set to low, so that means all those times when you're like, oh, I'm so hungry, I know, I'll just go to this place that has loads of cattails, and then suddenly you have enough food to survive for a few days. Yeah, probably not. That'll compound with the fact that you cannot just enter starvation mode on these harder settings. Because you would lose 25 health in... Uh, or 24 health in a day. And you would gain back... Only about 5% condition during night. And I want this wind to pick up. I want this light to shine my way through the trailer that I'm going to. And I am going up to that trailer. I'll spend the night there. I don't want to lose much condition, so I'm actually going to start really legging it. Final cattails, pretty please. Oh, there are none. Okay. Oh, now the stream keeps going. Uh, you know what? We can do the very top of the stream tomorrow. I don't want to lose more condition tonight. I'm already in the danger zone. I call it the danger zone as if I know what that is. I think there might be a song relating to danger zone. Oh, oh, oh I'm stuck here. How do I get up? get around over here? Yes, there's a zigzaggy pathway over here. He says, not finding it immediately. This is borderline concerning. Um, right, which side can get me up here? Since I'm closer to it, I want to try this side. Could be a way up to. Well, you saw it there, right? A little wooden bridgey bit. Very sugar is not here. Could be a cool place to hide something like a Polaroid or some more cat. No, no, no! Don't be fooled by the cattails. The cattails won't heal you. A warm bed will heal you. could stop and make a fire, actually, to warm up a bit. It's not like I'm short on fire-making goods. Okay, this looks promising. Get me up here, please! Oh no, oh no. Oh yeah! Okay, we're good. We're right back to where we spawned at the very start of this. And we know at the end of this bit there's a trailer. We can sleep there and just be good. Hey, what do you think about going for well-fed? Even early on. Just give it a go. I have a vague confidence, and it's largely because of the fact that I have the um, hats on that we could maintain well-fed for this. Still maybe not a good idea to do, but... Over a course of a normal game, you would want well-fed for pretty much the entire run. The extra health is fairly trivial, but the extra carry capacity is incredibly good. 
I think I ran just enough to keep Commander Shepard tired enough for a good long sleep tonight. A long dark, if you will. The well-fed bonus is something that you get for maintaining your food bar above zero for 72 hours. Once you have done that, you are well-fed. And you lose well-fed the moment your hunger goes down to zero. Or your stomach part goes down to zero. Right, we have not looted this place other than fumbling around in the dark. Ooh. We're a lot warmer in here than we were first time we came in. We have actual clothes on. Hello! Well, this stuff will come in handy. Ragged, yes, but still better than these crappy leather shoes. Yoink. And I will fix you, because you are very good shoes. Jinx. Me complaining about not finding any good things, and that was hiding on me all along? Oof, unthinkable. Right. Doesn't appear to be anything else with my name on it, so you are going away. Starving. Yeah, 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 Shepard, I know you're hungry. Right. It is definitely too dark for doing any maintenance and repairs. The t-shirt is warmer than my hoodie. The t-shirt offers no wind chill and no protection, but I think I might still wear it. Just because I really don't like the hoodie. I'm sure I'll find something better. Actually, I'm not sure I will, but... Anyway, you're in alright condition. I'd love to repair you in due time. You were just there to get rid of frostbite, and I can't believe I've got some spare socks. Alright, that all looks pretty good. In terms of foodylicious, I'm just gonna shove Commander Shepard's mouth full of cattails, something like 15 of them. Look at that, I was probably overeating on cattails. But, we've got a lot of calories in our tum tum, we're gonna wash it down with water and sleep for 10 hours. Yeah, the hoodie doesn't give wind protection because uh, it's worn on the inside. Every cattail in existence. I think I missed one or two. Okay, no hypothermic, no sprain, loads of health. Don't need to eat more right now, but we certainly need to remain, remain well watered. And while we are in here and the going is good, I would actually like to do a little bit of repairs. I know this takes an hour, but it's it's really cold in the morning. I don't want to go out in the morning. And there we go. Ooh, that's actually not as good as I'd hoped. That's kind of heavy as well. Ooh. Uh, you took a bit of a smashing. I'm actually going to repair you as well. I'm going to repair you as well. I don't mind failing, but I mind failing when you're almost uh, successful at repairing it. And I certainly want these ragged trail boots repaired. How in the world do you repair boots with spare leather? I do not know. I mean, they look like steel toed uh, sons of guns. I'm going to tear these things apart, even though it takes an hour and 15. But this is okay, it's going to be nice and warm when I head out, which is what I want it to be. 67, 85, alright, just tear these things apart. I like the hockey journey because it's legally distinct maple leaves. Or were there I wonder if there's a demand for something like that. Yeah, those things also just get torn apart. You can't wear two vests, sadly. You can wear two parkas, but not two vests. Mm -hmm. I still want to repair you again. Mending takes a very long time to level up. So much of your mending is done with pretty low success rate. But there we go, relatively warm. That's about a degree and a half of warmth if we're out now in anything resembling wind, actually. And it's good to keep the combat trousers in a good state to repair as well, because they're so powerful. There we go. Good defense, good warmth, even a bit of windproofness, but... Oh yeah, man, we are kitted up here. And I wouldn't even say it's with amazing kit. We certainly have gaps to fill in here, but still... Feels good. Feels real good. That was much of the day spent just in here taking care of our goods, but that's fine. We're going to water up and then get out of here. 
we're actually pretty much going to be retreading the path that we did before, but there is a place I didn't stop by, and I do want to stop by it. How warm is it? Toasty. Oh my heavens, it's so warm. Okay, this is good. Did I loot the place where we destroyed the rabbits down here? I don't think I did. Okay, well, I'm going to go there again then. Hey, maybe the rabbits I let... No, the rabbits must still be there. It's been... It's been four days. They were decomposed entirely. Why did I hunt them then? Did I actually take anything out of those rabbits? I I truly cannot remember if I left any rabbity goods at the early game, because I'm sure I hunted them. Anyone remember where I left rabbits other than Jack Rabbit Island? A clever Jake would have left a note to himself. Well, it's bright, so I will soon find out if I left it here. That corpse is a human corpse, which I am fairly certain I already checked. Yeah, wow. Only minus four, even in the wind. What a good time to be Commander Shepard. Whoa, look who's here! They are still barely usable. Alright, well, you're coming with me. <laughs> That's how we're gonna do things. Okay. Oh, and I did leave some guts here. Then do they do they just have meat on them? They do! 25% condition meat, no less. Right, first things first, we're gonna search this place. Remover, but that's unnecessary. Let's leave it on the table. Nothing in the metal pail. Take that as tinder. Actually, I will not take any more tinder. And I'll dump the newsprint and stacks of papers that I have because cattail heads are lighter as tinder. When it comes to tinder, the only thing you care about is its carry weight. Alright, so. Ooh, that is not a nice looking rabbit. Even so, I could rip you to pieces and take you with me. It's a good amount of meat. It would suck to leave it behind. I'm surprised the rabbits survived out there for as long as they did. Right, the rabbit meat that I just got is not very good. It could make me sick when I eat it, but the odds are not that high. I think I'll leave behind a tiny scrap of it, but I'll take the larger pieces. Eh, yeah, you know what? We'll just see where the world takes us. Because I do have safe places that I'm planning on travelling via. Shouldn't I... Did I... Did I put out my clothes? No, I was meant to put out my clothes to dry. Oh, tripes. Hold that thought. I'll be back momentarily.
Yeah, there we go. Nothing quite like that sudden surge of, oh god, I've forgotten something, what is it? All my good shirts are in the wash. And I was meant to pull them out about an hour into this, and now it's uh, two and a half hours into this. But that's okay. It's, uh, it's really warm outside, it'll dry in no time. But to make me feel better, surely some people in chat have had similar moments with much more disastrous consequences, so... If you've uh, completely forgotten you had to pick up your child from football practice or something akin to that, it would make me feel better to hear about it. Hey, one thing I like about living here as opposed to Sweden is not having communal facilities. At, at first I thought it was great, it's like, yeah, I don't have to worry about looking after my own washing machine. But no, no, it, it's just far better to have the freedom to do it whenever. <laughs> Rather than having to book your time and do it to others' schedules. Okay, I overshot this. I want to be over there. Where there are some goodies, I think. Or something akin to goodies. I'm going to leave that rabbit meat there because I don't think I'm going to be cooking and eating it over there. There's a firearms cleaning kit in here, which is definitely not meant anymore. to spawn on Interloper. For whatever reason, the custom gameplay setting, do not spawn guns, does not despawn the gun cleaning kits. For people that do play with guns, how does their degradation work? Well, obviously you fire it, it degrades, firearm cleaning kit repairs it, but let's say you use up all the firearm cleaning kits in the world. Are your guns just destined to break eventually? I do not know myself. I've never forgotten my kid, but I do forget washing often. That's an easy thing to forget. I, I don't know why we don't have more combination washer-dryer machines so that it really is just fire and forget. And I don't know, if it could take them out and fold them for me as well, that'd be really nice. Maybe I'm just asking too much. I quite like household chores. Yeah, even, even washing clothes, actually. I used to say washing clothes is the one thing I don't like, but now that I don't have to care about the communal stuff in Sweden, I suppose I do even like that. Right, I'm going to investigate that mm, fishing post, and I'm going to go over there. This wind is the only thing causing me, me to be cold right now, but that's okay. Otherwise, it's still plenty warm. The, the idea that it's minus six on Interloper is insane. Minus six is Voyager levels of warm. Voyager being, I think, the second difficulty. Let me think. Pilgrim, Voyager, Stalker, Interloper, Custom. And Custom has all sorts. Use print, not interested. You can use milling machine to repair rifle. Ooh, that's cool. That way you can use scrap metal, which is a completely renewable resource, on top of being absurdly plentiful. Yeesh, this is slow going. I think I'm going to go all the way back. There is a car back there, and sometimes it has memento hint. I suspect that the memento goods are very much uh, reduced. Mementos used to have the same goods across all difficulty settings, I believe. Now, Interloper gets very, very little out of them, but they still get something. For example, in Forlorn Muskeg, you used to get an MRE, as well as... Dog food and accelerant. And now on Interloper, you just get accelerant and dog food, I believe. The MRE's 1700 calories of goodness were too good for the Interloper world. Do you iron your bed sheets? <laughs> do I buggery? I do not think I have. Uh, no, no, I used to iron clothes. And then I tried not ironing clothes, and I was like, wow, it's exactly the same, but I don't have to waste loads of time. And I never ironed anything again. My mother would uh, tell me about the merits of a well-ironed job. Well, that's how she wants to spend her time. She's welcome to do so.
I think the trick is for your shirts. Do not fold them and put them away. Hang them up. That way they just straighten themselves out. Right, this is a bit of a trek for potentially nothing, so I'm gonna, gonna run a bit. At least it's free of wolves. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Oh, Barrington is on the prowl. At least that keeps me relatively safe from wolves, but let's have him investigate that stone instead of me. I, I feel like such a brain lord when I do something like that. It feels so it feels so clever, distracting animals with uh, thrown rocks. Did I miss any cattails on this part of the water? Well, there are certainly more bunnies for me over there. Okay, uh, no pry bar. Something in the back though. It's a letter going to Mystery Lake. See you soon. Okay. That's not the memento note I was looking for. No match. Oh boy, there's matches. That is three sets of matches I have now found. That's pretty good. Otherwise, smeg all. Well, no memento hint, but I was here for the matches. Well, I wasn't there for the matches. That's just a happy coincidence. But I will take those matches. Take them and run. Oh my god, did I not pick up the rabbit pelts that were in the... Oh, I didn't take the rabbit goods, did I? Ah, uh, that's foolish. Well, that, uh, that house that I was at the very start and returned to with the rabbity goods in them, I was meant to pick those up and take them. Ah, uh, I don't think I want to trek back up there. Bit of a windy path. By the way, where's the rabbit's friend? Where was he? He was right here. Probably run away to get his friend Big Bear. Or he's over there. Can you use the book for fire fuel? I can, but the book weighs 500 grams. Whoa, now. Nobody said you could run away. Terrible at hitting you here. I suppose your well evolved back legs ensured that you could. Oh, oh, look who noticed that I'm here. Barrington, go away. I know you're behind that tree. Oh, goodness, he really wants me. Yeah, he knows I'm here. He knows my game. Regret going for well fed real soon. Well, lucky bunny evaded my stone throwing slinging justice. I don't think it's slinging if you throw it with your bare hands, though. I'm no Balearic slinger. That's how well. Right, these are going down the food chute. Like I said, we're going for well fed, even though that's not a good, not a good idea. It's weighing me down so much. I'm a little bit overweight. I'm gonna chuck a couple of stones just to maintain lower weight. And with the exception of those lovely rabbity goods that I left behind in the hut up there, we have largely taken care of that area in general. If hunting was on the cards, then hunting that bear would be great, but it is not on the cards. There's a large temptation to destroy the bunnies over in that island again. 
especially since night is coming, and it's probably a lot safer to head over there than take the longer trek back home. For now, though, since it's light, I certainly want to check out these areas. Outdoor workbench there, if you have made Coastal Highway your main base, but you are sick or scared of getting cabin fever from doing everything in concept, you can set up a fire and do your work there. That'd be great, though. Gotta get this done quick whilst it's still light. As we've seen, it gets dark indoors very quickly in this game. Cloth. How are we doing on cloth these days? Only two. But I left quite a bit of it back in concept, and it's not difficult to get more. On top of that, I don't have a huge use for cloth right now. However, I could sure go for some anything in here. Well, that's the interloper experience. Sometimes you get a fat lot of nothing. I should check around the back as well, just in case. Mm -hmm. What's this house being supported on? I see that copy of Frozen Angler on the ground there. But as is often the case, I don't bother with books. Aside from one for burning. Do I have one for burning? I have one for burning. Hey, give me three additional cloth, please. Could have done that in the last building, though. Minimize the risk of things getting dark on me. now. Two out of three a bust? Hang on, was there something written on the door there? No. I mean, it looks like there is, but nothing that we can grab. That was the first bit of serious wind I think we've seen. Apart from day one, perhaps. This has been here a while. Right, lantern fuel, and I have not found a lantern, although I would like to. Some summit soda, which is... I often poo-poo it, but I do like to drink it straight away. If I were thirstier, that's what I'd do. The calories out of it that I want more than anything. Uh, I will actually take the opportunity to strip down some of this. I might just leg it over to Jack Rabbit Island. I'll walk along, grab the meat that I left behind, and then hightail it over. The wind is probably going to be... Oh, boy, he is not my friend today. I'm going to break his aggro just by entering an egg tank. That's a scary thing to see on the road, isn't it? Oh dear lord! I think he's rushing me. Let's not hang around to find out why he wants to rush me so badly. Jinks! Okay, well, yeah, if he wants to play like that, fine, I guess. We're gonna pass a bit of time in here. Probably tear apart our rabbity friend. It's a good thing I had these places to enter. If I did not, I would have had to very quickly lay down a um, a fire. Man, all I can think about is food. They would not come and get me. All right, rip off that hide. The guts I don't need. I'm gonna leave behind the rabbit carcass with the gut on it. Keep the meat. Probably drink this summit soda. And now hopefully enough time has passed that my friend Lord Barrington has left, and I should smell a little less. How many pairs of spare trousers do we have? Well, not enough for me to want to hand any over to Barrington.
there we go. Just making absolutely sure he's not hiding around any corners for me. I want to pick up my crummy bits of meat and then make my way back over to that island. I may or may not cook and eat the meat tonight. The wind is kind of putting me off that. I could cook it one piece at a time inside a fishing hut on one of their little pot belly stoves, but I don't like that idea. I'm trying to think where else I could reasonably cook though. Also, where did I leave my meat? I thought it was around here. Oh, well the wind settled down, but that makes it all the better an idea to go and cook and eat the meat over there. Minor chance of food poisoning. Minor enough for me to take it. And there's my meat. Good, 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 good. I'm going to stink with all this raw meat, though. That much is true. Stink, stink, stink. But don't worry, if we just eat around the mold, it'll be okay. And grab sticks. I'll need them for keeping my fire alive. Although, for all I know, I have plenty of sticks as it is. This large open area is going to make it real easy for the wolves to see me. But that goes two ways, means I can see them nice and easily as well. On top of that, since the wind is gone, I could start my fire nice and easily. So I will walk around with this, and if it looks a little risky with the wolves, I'll have this at the ready. However, however, if tonight wants to be an aurora on me, that could pose a problem, because then the cow... the Wolves will not be cowed by fire. What's that thing over there? Looks like an actually functional... Oh no, I think it's actually a burned down or boarded up house next to the trailer. And I've been to the trailer. Was I able to see inside that trailer? I don't think so. Also, that wolf wants it. See that wolf? I drop all my goods and he just immediately loses interest. They can only smell meat that you... Oh well. I guess we're doing this now. Uh, they can only smell the meat that you're carrying. Not the stuff that you throw on the ground. Well, we are absolutely committed to cooking this up now. Is that an animal over there? that part of the geometry. It looks like it's moving, so maybe it is. Maybe I can get this wolf over here and to hunt that deer for me. And that would transform this entire experience. A deer on Jackrabbit Island? That, that tells me I want the I want that wolf to notice me here. Wolfie, 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 come on. Yum, 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 yum. I'm right here. He's going to where I was. If I drop all of this and then pick it back up, hopefully he'll come my way. I think he is. I want him to want that deer. Yeah, he's he's noticed me. Now I want him to physically see me. Yeah, there we go. I want him to hunt that deer. Now there's a chance that he just runs off into the sunset and makes this too awkward for me to take advantage of, but... There's also a good chance that they just go and tear that uh, tear that poor deer to shreds, and then I come in and take all the benefit. <laughs> I had a friend called Benny, and uh, whenever I, I, if I can used or heard the word benefit, I would follow up with, well, I don't know how Benny fits into this. And it was hilarious. Are you gonna go for that deer? Look at it, it's right there. Yummy, yummy deer. You better go for it soon, I can't afford to uh, throw this fire, I'll spook the deer. Yeah, that's the spirit. That is absolutely the spirit, go get that deer. You're creeping up on it well, it hasn't noticed you. Start running. Change, you'd think you weren't in the mood for food, get moving. Perfect. Step away from that deer. 
Right. We are eating good tonight. Ditch all this stuff for now. Now they won't, uh, they won't care about me so much. Now, the big risk about all this is that it's right on the open here. A wind could come and just annihilate this. But hopefully, I get everything at least cut off of that deer while the going is good. Cooking it is on, great, but getting the meat is the highest priority. Also, if an Aurora hits, that's um, very, very bad. For now, though, slam on some reclaimed wood and a bunch of sticks. And uh, I don't even need the water. Just get that meat coming to me. Um, give me two half kilos of meat. I don't want to starve while I'm out here. I'll eat one cattail just to prevent starvation. So, one half kilo, please. We're hoping for no wind. Wind is bad. No aurora either. Aurora also bad. Alright, now one kilo, well, two kilos at a time. Mm, there's little else I care about. Just give me those two kilos. So much faster than doing it by hand, you truly don't understand. Eat that venison, fill our belly. Cook the rabbit. Oh yeah, good point. I forgot about the rabbit. Where did I put the rabbit thing? Ah, here it is. I suppose the rabbit meat's a bigger deal to cook while the going is good. I'm not going to set up a second fire for it, although I probably should. Probably should. good reason not to. The meat and cattail diet's going to be rough on the bowels. Yeah, especially since I already took all the water out of the Come toilets. On, if this were state of decay, we'd be facing a massive morale penalty. Alright, that's good. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Throw on some cedar and maybe a few sticks. That back. Now let's get this disgusting raw rabbit cooked up. All right, 14 minutes, 37 minutes. Oh, screw it. Just give me two kilos of meat. Uh oh. That's exactly what I didn't want. But let's have some faith. It will be okay. Aurora wolves. The worst thing that could happen to me, really. At least I'm warm. But I need those Aurora wolves not to come over here. At least they'll be glowing. We can see them coming a mile away. Okay, okay. Let's just wolf down what we have here. Ooh, rancid raw rabbit. 18 minutes, 54, 49, 25. Keep the fires burning. This is, no, this is a very disorganized and panicky way of doing it, but let's grab what we can while we can. I also want its hide. Carcass harvesting, get. A rancid rabbit going as well, 35, an hour 4. 333, 34, 34, an hour. 40 minutes right. I'm taking that hide with my bare hands. Please, Aurora Wolves, don't come here. That's the spirit. Almost burning, almost burning. I think I'll leave that campfire to go. No sign of Aurora Wolves. 
cooking level up. I can hear them though. They're out there. Okay, one more hour of fire and everything is done. I don't really want the deer's guts. I might take them though. Heck, I got 40 minutes to kill. I might as well take one of them. I'm dropping everything the moment I pick it up so that I don't attract um, beasts. We're done in nine minutes. Okay. Do I have the cojones to take the final gut out of you? Not really, I have plenty of guts. I did, I, the last thing I need are more of them. Well, the Aurora wolves are giving me a nice break. They are not coming here. Oh, I spoke too soon. I spoke way too soon. Three minutes until you're ready, and I am packing up and leaving. I'm going to take a replacement torch. And even though the torches don't dissuade the wolves... Actually, give me a, another two torches, please. Two last torches. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I will keep one here. Cooked, 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 cooked. Leaving you, and I am going, going, gone. Shelter is just up there. I just need to not run into any despicable wolves. I'm very heavy, though. I'm about 15 kilos overweight. I'm just shy of 15 kilos overweight, but if I start running, I'm going to be overweight and unable to run anymore. Like... Oh, I guess I spoke too soon. You have plenty of guts. If that wolf catches you, he'll pull them from you. Right. I'm interested in which of these rabbits to eat. Maybe even all of them. Let's just get the food poisoning risk out of the way early, shall we? I'm leaving the venison outside to... to keep it good for longer. Oh, but is all of this rabbit meat equal? Hmm? Did I just take off my hat? I think I did. Um, actually, one of it is 100%. That one should certainly be left for... Ah, what the hell, I can eat it in the morning. But the crappy ones I want to eat before bed in case it poisons me. Then I can sleep off the food poisoning. So let's play Russian Roulette with this, uh, this meat. That one was fine. Any meat under 75% has a chance of poisoning you. And that poison chance skyrockets if it's below 20%. Even 72 is risky. Eat it, eat it, eat it, and... Hey, good rabbits. Very good rabbits. Set this place on fire. Have our fair share of dabbering. And then sleep for 10 hours, and this is going to be amazing. We're going to be back up to full health, and all of our meters will be good. Ah. And that... Rabbit I left. See, it lost 10% condition through the night. But anyway, yum, 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 yum. And then fill up on water. And there we go. Warm, rested, watered, fed, maximum condition. And it shouldn't be too long before we get well fed at this rate as well. So. Those rabbit... Oh, right, one thing I did forget to do is dunk my two deer hides, but I think I'll dunk those and this fresh fresh, yeah, fresh rabbit pelt back at base, which is definitely where I'm going today. I need to organize my goods. Actually, would it be so bad to just drag all of this stuff back there? I'm relatively underweight. I'm going to stink to high hell with all the food anyway. We're taking it all back to concept because that's where we're going to be doing our... Um, 
um, manufacturing with it anyway. I'll take the opportunity to tear down a couple of curtains while I'm here. In loving memory of Baron's attempts, did he ever escape um, Milton, Mountain Town? Perhaps we'll never know. With so many matches as well, I can easily have a match per day. Yeah, but th this map doesn't even compare to Bleak Inlet. Chalk and cheese between the two. Probably should have slept for a couple of hours longer. Depends what time it is. It's still but snowing. So I'm going to grab a few things here, including sticks and these. And then um, I'm going to do what everyone should do when they come across a day that they don't like, and that's just go to bed. <laughs> Who left all this blood here? Very disrespectful. I'll tell you what, I'll do one thing that I never normally do, and that's actually survey the area. Should have dropped my meat before doing this, because if, uh, if there were any wolves around here, they would have raced up to me during that those uh, 15 minutes that you spend mapping and gobbled me up. But instead, just sit for an hour. Well, not leaving the meat, heavens no. That meat's coming back with me, that's, um, that's a whole dough. It wasn't, the it wasn't the biggest or heaviest of doughs, but not the lightest either. But it really highlights the difference between starvation and not starvation mode. Every one of these venison slices is enough to survive more than a day. But together, the, see, the wolf over there already knows that uh, I'm for dinner. What I am going to try to do is go around the back of here and hope that he... Because he doesn't see me, he... Oh, this is a mistake. Okay. Whew. Compared to Bleak Inlet, this is baby bouldering as well. There we go. Hopefully the wolf doesn't have the wherewithal to come around the side here. If he does, I... Uh, oh, he, he does notice me. Okay, I guess we're having an episode of Walk the Dog. Actually, I think he went for a rabbit instead. But Commander Shepard has eaten so much rabbit over the course of this, she risks getting that, uh, that brain self-eating nasty disease thing. I forget the name of it. Ooh, fur. I love fur. Burns so good. Heavy though. Stinky one, Shepherd. Really stinky. There must have been a blizzard potentially when I slept because it looks like the beachcombing is refreshed, but yeah, this is very light beachcombing compared to what we've seen before. I've also got quite a distance to go back, but that's okay. No, not for ions. I mean, when you, when your diet consists of meat that is so lean, you end up short on fat, and then your brain starts wasting away. I think, wasting away or eating itself, one or the other. Let's buy some more beachcomb stuff over there. Do I? It seems to be moving in a very strange way. See it? Something suspended there, and it's. Flying fish! A very heavy flying fish at three kilos and a very stinky fish. But it's my fish. Right, let's hope we can have a nice, simple walk back to Concept without everybody coming and having a bite out of me. Did I check that corpse? I would have checked that corpse, but I'm going to double check it. I am, however, running out of ideas where that Polaroid could be. I wouldn't say we've checked every... Oh, cripes! Right. Let's see if we can just walk the dog here. Might be okay. I know what I'm doing. I 
is more the point. I kind of know where I'm going. It's pretty cold though, and I'm getting wetter and heavier and all the other bad things from this walk. But if I just go straight ahead, I'm pretty sure I'll be at the house near Concept. Oh, but he, I think he's got another friend over there. Unless that's also deer. Am I like deer or a wolf in the distance there? Well, it suddenly turned its attention to me, I think. So I'm going to say that's a wolf who wants a free meal. Eh, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Easy street. Real easy. Now I can tell you now, Newkington, I was having issues with my microphone at the very start, so I restarted the stream. The first part's probably only a few minutes long. And I wish the second part was also only a few minutes long. What a disaster that run was. Well, the game was a disaster. The run was simply an inevitability from that. So here we go, one reason not to be that afraid of wolves. They will generally just follow you if you keep them at a distance. The danger is if you're really overburdened, or if they're timber wolves, or if you keep them going for just a bit too long. Sometimes they do just run after you anyway. But another thing is, if you do get too close then they do straight up aggro, so try to avoid that. I don't even know why I bothered with the cairns. Alright, we can break aggro. Ah, break aggro and warm up. I've already checked this place out. I don't think there's anything worth checking it out a second time for, but I'm curious about that fish. 19% condition. It's a bit low. Around the toilet here. Now we'll just take the opportunity to warm up for a wee bit. Very quick to warm up with my good clothes. The ptarmigan petting. So I'm not sure if ptarmigans are available in custom mode. One mistake they frequently make with updating the game is uh, botching things on custom mode. Case in point, that rifle cleaning set. That's been an issue with spawning on custom games for as long as I can remember. Clear these stones out of the way of the front, and let's have nature's... Whoa! Nobody said you could be here. Let's have nature's fridge, keep my stuff, clo uh, keep my stuff cold. God, even in the garage area I'm plus five, this is good. Right, thus begins our Guts collection. Thus begins our fresh rabbit pelt collection. And two deer hides. I will want a third, but potentially not a fourth. I don't think I need deer skin trousers, although a second pair would be alright. They just take an A on to make. So I need another deer hide. It's a lot of guts. Tools. How's my hacksaw? I absolutely do not want my hacksaw to break. I like this torch. Oh, the game was just awful, Neefington. And all the more pronounced in how awful it is because it followed up from the brilliant. Um, ka -ka 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 -ka. What was the game called again? Contradiction. useless fuse out of my face. Surprised that I haven't found any lantern, but I suppose most maps that I've played I've managed to locate a lantern. Alright. No cooking pot means a lot of no cooking, but that's okay. We spent a surprisingly small amount of time over here actually. Normally you end up spending quite a bit of time in concept, but we've been out and about, which has been good. Oh yeah, the whetstone is actually useless. I could just shove that away. 
you might think, why even bother keeping things organized if it's so useless? Well, maybe I'll load these saves back up at some point. Maybe I'll be driven by curiosity. For example, someone in the YouTube comments for the Bleak Inlet video pointed out some weird red thing inside the cannery, and then I looked at the video and thought, I have no idea what that is. So I'm going to load up that save probably after this run and find out what it was. Might have just been decoration, but what if it wasn't? Also, what am I keeping in here again? Some burnables. Wow, I've only used three matches so far. That's good going. Really? Only three? That can't be right. But it must be, because I found 36 matches and I've got 33 now. Anyway, nobody needs 43 cattail heads, so let's make sure we only have 10. That saves a kilo and a half already. Drop the fur. Drop one bit of cedar. One bit of coal. I'm going to make that birch bark tea, that's for sure. Ditch more painkillers. Uh, ditch the hoodie. Sometimes this screen just... What, what happened? Okay, I guess we just dr dragged it all over there. Something weird happened with that, I swear, though. Um, I guess that's fine there. I have plenty of cloth as it is. Ooh, delicious. I do want to cook that potato and just see what baked potato is like. I hope you can just cook it on an open fire. Keep the cooking ingredients in here, but I actually don't think I can do any co uh, cooking. No skillet, no cooking pot, no use for the flour or the oats. That is a shame. A damn shame. I'll leave behind some of you. Keep, keep 12 of you on me. It's generally worth keeping the coffee on you since it's so incredibly light. Some of this stuff I think I'll just fill my belly with though. Like I, I got no use for the tuna. I like the steel chocolate bar while I'm at it. Keep the maple syrup for now. Oh, that, that's right, I've got a tin opener, so I can happily open and eat my pinnacle peaches. Just filling up my belly, and then I will regret this later when I cannot swiftly and easily hunt down uh, deer to maintain my well-fed bonus. I actually think I went for well-fed in a previous run, maybe Mystery Lake, and regretted it, because I was like, actually, this isn't very sustainable when you are uh, not able to hunt. But I'll leave that for my own future problem. Let's get out of these down. Coastal Highway, you got the essentials. It's going really well. One very, very worrying part earlier on. Not right at the start, but certainly early on. Otherwise, though, ah, we've been doing fine. These sardines are completely safe. Might take the opportunity to go out and hunt, though. There we go. That's our little tips can. Dusting sulfur is just going to bother me by being there. Let's get it out of sight and out of mind. Completely useless for interloper. Oh, that is of course empty. Okay, well, it's late on the day. I think the sensible thing is to actually go and hunt another deer. Actually, that would necessitate more burnables, wouldn't it? Well, good thing I got myself a bajillion sticks. Just give me like 34 of those, please. If I can find more along the way, even better. Oh yeah, there's this uh, fish as well. Do I want to cook you? I can actually take you to help attract some wolves. Because I want to drag the wolves over to the deer, which I hope are still out and about where I left them. It's really warm right now as well, so I'm gaining heat. I can hear the wolf right there. There he is. And he knows I'm here as well. And again, I have no weapon with which to beat back a wolf, so... If he catches me, he does a lot of damage. Not just to me, but to my clothes. I got a lot of cloth with which to repair them, but only two sewing kits. So now the, wind, now the wind knows what I'm up to and has decided to get my face. I am hoping that there are still deer over here to hunt. That's the whole point of me attracting this wolf. Oh, 
boy, that is a lot of wind. And a lot of no deer. This man can't help but grab every stick in sight. It's a real issue. What, an issue that I'm too damn good? Preparing for the future, who would have thought? Right, eyes, eyes peeled for some deer. That's Lord Barrington over there. Definitely not a deer and definitely not something I'm going to hunt easier with a wolf in tow. Is that a deer carcass that just kind of popped in there? Oh, of course, the deer carcass was next to these other deer. Right. This is still okay, but the wind is going to complicate matters. Is it possible to make wolf, no, bear slash moose fall into the ice? No, it is not. The animals are light and gingerly stepping enough not to fall for such devious tricks. Alright, so two live ones, three live ones and one corpse, right? Shepherd could be eating well. We could just use this as like our little hunting ground. But I want that wolf to hunt this doe and not me. Come on, it's right there. No, oh, what, what, what? what? Just kind of like lost interest. Come on, can't you can't you smell me? Yeah, there we go. Don't you want me, baby? It's more like it. The man's best friend. Oh, God, he's pathetic. Actually, this could be a problem. He might uh, might give up on the deer and turn for me. I don't know what decides when they start to run. They can outrun a deer, but... Sure getting cold. He's making me work for this. Look at all these other deer that you can just be eating. Actually, this could work if he kills the deer next to the uh, winding shelter of a tree. That would work for me as well. Look at those trees bend in the wind, though. Crazy. I feel like David Attenborough is about to tell a sad story about how this wolf just isn't going to make it out in the wild. Oh god. He gave up. Assuming this is a different deer. A uh, different wolf, rather. It might mean that the other deer is still out there hunting. put your back into this one. Jeez, that, that other wolf was a much better hunter than you. Um, I'm taking some real condition damage here. Could you please speed it? Oh no, he's going to get spooked by the bear. I guess this wolf is just too tired out to run since I've been working him to the bone. 
But if you're wondering why I'm going to these uh, these lengths, I have no capacity to hunt any animal other than rabbits right now. So what I do is I use the wolf to hunt for me. I try and keep a low profile by crouching. Drag him over to the deer. He does. Well, I suppose I can hunt fish. In fact, this might be the first run where I actually do do some uh, proper fishing. I tested to make sure it wasn't broken in this build because they did manage to break fishing in the previous build. Despite it being an update with fishing. I do wonder what's going on with the game development sometimes with this. What is with this freaking wolf? Right, he's going for it. Where is he? Oh, good choice. You brought it right over here where I... Holy crippens! Did someone say two for the price of... Eat it! Eat it! There we go. Get away. Get away. Two for the price of one. Drop the fish so it doesn't smell me out here. Right, I'm in a, an awkward situation here. I need to find where I'm sheltered from the wind and put down a fire. Uh, you know what? Might be a better idea to do something like. Safe here. Okay. Give me that fire. Please don't blow immediately out. It's happened to me before. Get this right up against the tree and go. I see this going south very quickly. Well, hopefully the wind doesn't blow directly south. That would probably blow up my fire. But a little trick you can do with the trees is kind of bring the fire around the tree. Yeah. So I get not using the book. That was really good though. Two fresh downed deer, and with a hacksaw it doesn't even matter if they refreeze because I can still hack on, off their meat just as well with that hacksaw. There we go, much better, much, much better. Perfect. Uh, Lord Barrington knows what I'm about though. I don't like that. Need any more water though, let's get to work on that. Probably. What are you up to? Are you going for that deer as well? We've all got a bit too much deer in our diet right now. I'm too cold. I think. Kind of need to warm up quite a bit here. I'm going to have some nice warm tea before I start carving apart Bambi over there. I'm going to hope that uh, my friend the bear stays the heck away. Nothing for you here, my berry friend. Could quartering help? I wouldn't want to, m to lose so much meat from a quartering. Check and make sure nothing untoward is happening with the deer out there. No? Good. My giant human brain is helping out a lot here. And I'll drink this racial tea. Get a large heat boost out of it, and then I'll save the rest for a little bit later. See if I can't just gingerly grab half an hour worth of meat off of you. I, can't feel my feet. I know, I know, it's called Shepherd. I, I get the situation. And drink the rest of that tea if you don't mind. Meat. Boiling, cooking. Uh oh, I feel like the wind is changing direction into my fire a bit. No more than just a bit, but it's holding. 
big a deer was this anyway? It wasn't the world's biggest. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Oh, nice. The wind let up. That's very, very nice. Now I can throw on some cedar here with relative impunity. It also means I'm a lot warmer dealing with you. In fact, I am warm. Just close enough there to be warm. There we go. Start from the head and work down, Shepard. Oh, it's getting dark out here. I look for shelter. There we go, go. It's good. It's good. It's not good. Put on the big ones. You're small. You're big ish. You're big ish. Shepard's feeling a bit hungry, so let's just eat the fish. It's great condition and it's really heavy. It's not very calorifically dense, so it's a good idea to take care of the fish first. And miraculously, you are not frozen, so I can just rip your hide off with my bare hands. Yeah, the thawing effect of the fire is actually further than I thought, if it's stopping that from freezing. The other one will be frozen, but I got my third carcass already, so it's no big deal. I don't want to go all the way over there, though, Starting to uh, with my fire left here. I will remain by this fire and cook all the stuff up if I can. And to pass the time while that's happening, I can always prepare my birch box. Go. Cook nicely, cook nicely, cooking, cooking. Ooh. And while that is going, I got some racial mushrooms. It's also an outdoor fire, it should burn a bit longer, although the ambient temperature is quite high, it's not going to have a huge effect. I'm a little worried about uh, wolves sneaking up on me here, but I don't smell and I'm crouched, so odds are pretty slim that they'd ever find me. Good, looking good. There we, go. we are well and truly in the money. I might actually try and grab some more of the carcasses over there and drag it back here to this fire. I could move my fire out there, it's not the worst idea. It's really not the worst idea. Yeah, yeah, let's let's do that. I'll leave that stuff. Nothing even saying I have to come back for it anytime soon. The water will boil and the meat will cook. But there's not enough on that fire to burn it or boil it over. Don't need more guts? No, no, I've got like seven guts left behind. And you need spectacularly fewer guts than... than pelts. Oh, I don't have accelerant, so I left my, um, my lamp fuel back at the base, that's right. I was Come wondering on, why accelerant was Come available. On. Nah, the bear is scared of fire, so as long as I have this campfire down, he's not going to charge me, even if he's right behind me. That said, I have had him charge me before in a terrifying way, despite a campfire. Right, I need quite a few sticks to keep me warm here. Twenty should do. And we're going to tear your meat off. I'm going to start with one healthy kilo. It's not that windy on Coastal Highway, despite the aforementioned coast. But the temperature and the weather does get worse over time. Didn't end up needing the hot tea, which is nice. I was thinking about just running down, grabbing it, and bringing it back, but I ended up thinking that over the course of doing this, I'm probably going to prefer to move towards my base. I'm trying to remember which thing actually my base is on. 
my base is over there. Wind feels like it's picking up, which is bad. I'm gonna go back and grab my other goodies from here. I should make myself an emergency coffee. Always good to have coffee as an emergency good. to me. But here's the problem. There's no shelter from the wind at all on the ice. There is a keen exception. A bear's carcass is so hefty that it can prevent... That just blew up my fire. Yeah. Can I maintain you? Yeah, I think I can maintain it with some direct attention. I'm gonna... mm, yeah a little trepidatious. Fire, the wind might let up, it might not. But there's a lot of meat here that I would still like. So what I think I'm going to do is I will rewarm up my tea, grab the last of the meat, and then ditch. Ditch and go. But I want to check out the bear cave while the bear isn't there. There might be, might be a corpse with who knows, a Polaroid maybe. Seems like a Polaroid kind of location. We're on day six, as it happens. And I will not need the 30 days. This run is going very well. It's weird that you can feed a fire that gets destroyed by fire, uh, by wind. Normally it would say it's too windy to sustain a fire. Right, racial tea. You be there for a little bit. I'm going to go... Oh, I said I'd make a coffee, didn't I? Well, I'll make the coffee on the way back. I want to check the bear cave. The wind is right in my face, making this take extra long. Starting to get to the point where I wouldn't mind knowing the Polaroid locations, because... I have not yet found a Polaroid. I've searched quite a few places where I thought they would be. Uh oh, so you know this is this is the kind of time where emergency coffee comes to mind. Huh? Oh the wind's actually died down, I think. Should be alright actually. You just stay there for a bit. Fido, you just go away for a bit. Be alright after all. I don't know, it's hard hard to tell with this. I'm going to add, like, some sticks and see what happens to them. That oh, looks, looks pretty fine. Right. Give me a couple kilos of meat there. Getting very, very tired. I almost certainly want to coffee now. ready? Great. Instead, let's make sure that we are ready with a lovely pre-sleep coffee. I mean, I probably don't need that. Whilst that's going, 38. I doubt it would burn in that time, but let's just grab a kilo. This is a lot of food to get, so it's worth investing a coffee into all of this. I just drink the whole damn thing right now. Does anybody here drink a coffee before bed? It just seems like such decadent behaviour. Take the 0.8 off of you for now. Decadent amount of meat, holy moly. Right in the middle of the night as well. Alright, that's the last of you. Twenty-eight, thirty-one, an hour. Right, bare hand job. Give me that. There we go. We even ripped its skin off. It's so metal. This is the small one, is it not? Must have already cooked the small one. I got room for seven hundred calories in my belly. Yes, I do. Eat it all down. 
God, this is so much food for single region survivor. Again, I don't need its guts, so I will leave its guts. Do I have anything to reasonably do to pass this time? One thing I have done is burnt through a lot of my burnables, but to get several days worth of food, certainly worth it. And as I mentioned before, if there's one thing that's plentiful in the concept area of Bleak Inlet, it is burnables. Don't know if I want to drag all this home though, I don't have the weight capacity to carry 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 kilos of venison. Besides, it'll keep fine out here as it is. Two one forty-one fifty-seven. 41, 57. Is there anything to make during this time? Perhaps some clothes to repair? We are doing almost too well here. I don't know, you know, something that would justify a repair job. Maybe my tooth? Just something to do for half an hour whilst the, cook, uh, the meat sizzles away. I mean, I know you can just pass time looking at it, but I always feel like I'm using my time unproductively when I do that. We got 40 minutes in this thing, I'll all be good. Oh, I used my coal accidentally. I swear I scrolled down to stick, but shout out to the Logitech G502. Sometimes it likes to flick the scroll wheel back up for you, because it knows what you want better than you do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, oh, for it. Get me my water. Maybe... Oh, right, I should prepare that birch bark while I'm here. I can save myself some weight by chugging all this water. And now we got all the meat, our birch bark, liquidate this into fires, and then suddenly run into one of the uh, dangers of leak. Yeah, not leak, but heavens, no. Uh, one of the dangers of Coastal Highway. Not knowing where you are. Actually, it's relatively still. I think I will just drag all this back. So what if the wolves know exactly where I am? It's going to feel good to just can drop any of this gear. have this massive pile of foodies and goodies at my door. We're really, really slow, though. And we're almost taking damage from being this tired. This is what auto walk was made for. I can just press Z and have the shepherd do the walking for me. Ah. Oh, I thought that clip was from here, but no, that's the clip from when the bear started running around my fire in a very bizarre manner, wasn't it? about to get even slower because she's about 20 seconds away from being too tired as in taking condition damage levels of tired I think over this way is the way back to concept though that rock formation just feels right but it could just as easily be over there let's see something that looks like the pier oh well yeah, yeah, actually, I see the house now. It's okay. I don't know where I am. The auto walk just feels like a great way to save my fingers from just holding down W. And it's very fitting in this kind of game. We are now 16 kilos overweight. I'm gonna lay down and have a little sleep right here. I wouldn't recommend it on the ice, Shepard, but no, I, I didn't save the galaxy from the Reaper Menace, did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I thought, Fido. Away you go. And that was, again, only my fourth match used. Maybe we used more fire sources and bleak inlet before we found matches. 
Things would get very dangerous here without a... Uh, without the fire, so if the wind were to pick up, I would suddenly be in grave danger, because I can't run. Even if I dropped all of my meat, I wouldn't be able to run. The moment you hit maximum fatigue, you lose the ability to run. Uh, I was going to say, unless you have a stim, but you, I don't think you can be on a stim and have uh, fatigue maxed out. I suppose with console commands you could. Maybe that's something worth trying. Take a stim. Console command your fatigue to be maxed, or minimized, depending on the way you see it. And then see what that takes you. A bear or a moose would be a real concern here, actually. Yeah, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Neither would be cowed by my fire. Both. Well, uh oh, this wind could definitely do something bad to my torch, so let's just take a spell. This is so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. You're fine, Shepard, you're fine. Yeah. Try and save that torch. I threw it over here so that it would be in shelter before um, before being blown out itself, and then goodbye meat. In we go, and would you look at that, an exceptionally, exceptionally prosperous hunting time. So that, even though I only wanted three deer hides, I now have four. And we've still got all these rabbity pelts. One, two, three, four. Good job, Shepard. Five, six, seven. Yeah, as many rabbit pelts as Chaos Emeralds, and enough to make a full load of rabbit gear and guts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the guts, well, the guts take longer to cure than the rabbit pelts, but that is okay. I should probably get to fixing my hacksaw, but Shepard is long overdue a good long night of sleep, so that's exactly what Shepard can have. Alright, I don't suppose anybody went and found some Polaroid locations, did they? Because I'm quite keen to get the Polaroid. I didn't sleep before, I, I didn't uh, drink before bed, did I? Well, not properly, but that's okay, because there's something else you can do when you're Ugh, maximum thirsty like this. Like sandpaper. And that is just eat as much incredibly thirst driving meat as you want. You ever encounter packs of wolves? Yes. Wolves, timber wolves, hunt in packs. Right. 180, 180. I mean, most of these are 180. Why even? Why even care? I'm more interested in these ones because they're slightly older. 844. I'm curious to find any ones that are smaller than standard. This one's only 800. Down the hatch you go, and then I will eat you as well. Now Shepherd is completely full in her belly. Face it down with water, and it's up to us how we spend our day. It's already a relatively warm time of day, so what are we going to do? Well, I'd love to find that Polaroid. Where in the world is it? I have a quick check for Polaroid locations. Polaroids, the long dart in Coastal Highway. Hill northwest of Rockfall, I checked that. Backpack between Misanthropes Homestead and Jackrabbit Island. I'm pretty sure I checked that and saw nothing. Backpack near the cabin, northwest of the tooth. I think I checked that. Fallen body near tree, check that. Backpack on the ledge beneath the abandoned lookout, definitely check that. Corpse south right of, uh, southwest of Jackrabbit, yes. Oh, okay, well, obviously one of these I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure I went to all those locations. That is troublesome. Oh, no, no, no. Hmm. I don't know. Really don't know. Hmm. 
I'm actually trying to think where to even go on the map right now because all is quite well for us. Ah, there is the Aurora Cave, of course. We might have an Aurora tonight. That does not mean the wolves have spotted you. That's just them having a little howling match with each other. But that means the wolf has spotted me, though. significant difficulty thinking what Polaroid could be. Well, you know what, there's nothing saying we have to get it. What I could do is go up and just map at the lookout tower. That's what I think I'll do. In fact, I'll take the other approach to the lookout tower, one that I didn't take, and grab plenty of sticks along the way. Yeah, it is weird that you store food outside and that's the best way to do it. And that's the reason we do it outside. It is the best way. Raw meat and fresh... Uh, raw meat and cooked meat both degrade slowest when left outside. Even some properly made foods do. You know, I know there's acorns on this map, but I haven't found any. I think that's an acorn tree right there, though. There looks like one. Uh, okay, perhaps not. Huh. Am I mistaken? That doesn't sound like me. Well, I was up there before I checked the crash. So I thought it was one of the acorn trees. Perhaps the one I'm thinking of is stouter. I don't like that wolf being there. I'm just going to throw a stone to hopefully drive it away and further down. Whilst we go further up. Right to looking to break my delicate Canadian ankles here, but I do have bandages if that happens. There we go, I thought this was climbable. There we go. Up's the daisy shepherd. There's my acorn tree and mystery doe. Don't worry, I won't hurt you, but only because I can't. Aye, it's true, I'm Canadian. My ankles are like stale pretzels. Well, I could go for some stale pretzels. Mm. We've got so warm, we're actually heating up. Shame there's no ptarmigans, though. Ptarmigans can be crafted into makeshift insulation. And they can make an insulated bedroll, even out of a ruined bedroll. So not having them in custom mode is a bit of a bummer, but hopefully that is fixed soon. Interland, please. Uh, they probably don't want to listen to me. I, I do nothing but bad about this latest DLC. Because it's been really badly handled, you see. Two weeks, I reckon, McCain. Probably by like a week into it, I'll be champing at the bit to be streaming again. Well, that's the point. I've got to keep myself hungry. Now those acorns can still be processed with boiling water and your bare hands, but to turn it into acorn powder, which I'd need for cooking, I'd need a heavy hammer to smash it up. And we've not found a heavy hammer. In fact, all of the... Oh, that thought. There we go. All of the tools we found, we found straight away. Matches were found, uh, I think, all three times we found them in cars. Yeah, one on the floor, one on the dashboard, and one in the glove box. The hacksaw was inside Concept, which was brilliant. That hacksaw has just enabled us to make absurd amounts of food. Huh, you know what? Commander Shepard might want to go for a climb.
Yeah, I'm not actually sure if Commander Shep would want that that much. It's a bit of a dangerous claim. Actually, truth be told, I did not go the route I thought I'd gone. I thought I'd gone around the back and up over as a route towards the lookout tower, but I did not. Did I check you, or was it dark? It's been dark, this is unchecked. Scrap metal can be used to fix up my hacksaw, which I did intend to do before I left, but I forgot. But it's at 80%, so it's fine. Oh, you don't even need two order it is. requires simple tools. That would have freaked me out. I don't know how I'd repair a hacksaw with just my bare hands. If the screws are that loose, it's probably not the kind of hacksaw I'd want to be using, especially since it's apparently one of those hacksaws that can tear apart metal. Which seems weird to me. I mean, what do you have to make a hacksaw out of so that it can tear apart metal? Some kind of diamond-tipped teeth? Anyway, anyway. There should be a way up and around from here. Just gotta go in that route. I'm gonna go this route. I want to get up. Even if I don't have the vista, I could still do a bit of mapping. Well, the Polaroid. The vista is the location. Is there a rope here, actually? Maybe I'm not where I think I am. Let's go. Oh, right, swell. Hang on, do, do you even need to climb this rope? It looks like kind of one rope you can just walk around. Not with your ankles like that, though, Shepard. Tell you what, on top of that, just take your painkillers. I don't want the vision obscured. Could this be the most useless climbing rope in the game? This feels very ascendable. Here we go with the bouldering again. It could be that I'm completely wrong and it's starting to feel like I am. This is just a bouldering game after all. I swear the game treats you worse if you're walking on rocks like this. Ooh, easy now. Let's not throw this save. I have a hacksaw that can tear down metal. It's made of F4... OM Ordinary Carbon Steel. It just was thermal treated. I struggled to follow that, but I trust that you have a good, uh, a good hacksaw is what you're saying. Alright, let's just chuck those painkillers. There we go, Shepard. With enough bandages and painkillers, you too can get running. Okay, so I was not at all where I thought I was. I wasn't actually aware that there was a rope climb point over here, so... Maybe, maybe, there's something worth our time over here. There certainly don't appear to be wolves, which is nice. Have you gone 30 days in any region? Is there a point to have that as a condition? Well, it certainly was going to be the condition for Forlorn Muskeg, but I died before that. The original goal was only 30 days, but... After doing the very first one, it dawned on me that 30 days is an awful lot of time, especially when you've already explored the whole region and your victory is assured. And I'll be honest, we're coming up on that point with uh, this area quite soon. Other than this place that I just found now, the only place I can think we haven't properly checked out is the Aurora Mine, and we will do that next Aurora. But we have loads of matches, Plenty of all sorts of supplies. I don't think we're in anything resembling difficulty yet. Ooh, oh, just for this. Something around here. Ah, look. 
Little nooks and crannies hiding all the goodies, right? Right? Well, part of exploration is the disappointment of finding nothing whilst exploring. And this game's doing a good job of capturing that right now. Like the disappointment of opening a uh, a locker, an interloper locker. Yeah, wow, you get all the way up here and there's absolutely nothing, unless. No, no, that is all the way over to nothing. But there we go. Well fed. You don't see that on the single region survivor often. Are the trees there for crafting? Arrows or bows? I'm not sure. Saplings are for crafting. If you see tiny little saplings, you can cut them down with a hatchet or a hacksaw. And then you have to dry them out indoors for something like five to seven days. And then you can make a bow out of a maple sapling. And you can make arrows out of birch saplings. There are a limited number of saplings to be harvested in the world which tells you you have a limited amount of bows and arrows you can have. However, saplings do show up in beach combing, so they are actually infinite. That's it. And yeah, the problem is we cannot have any bow-related things. Because wow, Shepard is really struggling today with the climbing. Uh, we cannot have any bow-related things because you need a knife to craft a bow. And we will never have a knife here because there is no... There is no forge in this region. I think Shepard snapped everything on this trip. But hey, at least she's warm. Maybe I should stop snapping everything up here, but I'll probably sleep over in the lookout tower. Four hours of rest is enough to undo any sprain. Just, just madness. Uh, I can think of sprains that have hurt me for months. One time I was at work and my middle finger just out of nowhere sprained. I wasn't even doing anything, just... Boy, that pain hurt. Put it in a splint. point will you have any joints left when you arrive well there's the thing the Canadians seem to injure themselves very easily but they also appear to be quick to mend what a lovely day for exploring normally I call these commander shepherds very bad day but commander shepherds having a great day only just feels like freezing. No wind, temperature's not so bad, and she's got her favourite hockey jumper on. Jake, in my interloper run, I've been tracking the number of pry bar lockers I've opened. Want to guess how many items I've found in 20 days? Uh, zero. You have found zero. If you've found anything, you've actually mistaken yourself, and you're delusional. <laughs> yep, zero. Truth be told, there are two times that I have opened up a locker and found something good. One time I found some accelerant, well I wouldn't really call that good, but that is one of the times. Another time I found a Mackinaw. Now to be fair, that's pretty huge. Mackinaw is one of the best coats you can get on Interloper. And I found that inside a pry bar needing locked locker. You know what, Shepard's already hurting a bit, let's throw her down the cliff here. letting you use any more of my precious bandages, Shepard. We're going to hope that we get an Aurora tonight. And if so, we're heading down that Aurora mine. It has peanut butter normally. I'm wondering if that's been removed from Interloper. We found it on our Outer Loper run. And that jar of peanut butter is still there. But I heard some footsteps. That jar of peanut butter is still there on that Outer Loper save displayed prominently in our shop. 
Maybe I should stop picking up every stick in sight. Don't need it right now. Yeah, that's true. It would be interesting if you took condition damage from spraining yourself when you already had maximum sprains. That sparks a bit. I'm to think of it. Wasn't one of the Polaroid possibilities a backpack near this location? I might be thinking of Forlorn Muskeg. It's a bit, but I'll make it. Those Polaroids are very well hidden, and they're random as well. Even if you think you know where they could be, they could also be somewhere else. But oh well, Polaroid or no Polaroid. Commander Shepard still has a pair of eyes, and those eyes are going to show us the world. The higher up you are, the better your view, but that's still not great. just tells us where we are in relation to Jack Rabbit Island. I will admit there is a bit of a satisfaction to finishing off the map, but the, uh, the steps you go through to do it are far less enrapturing to me. Right, we were here very early on, during a much darker time when we had low condition and frostbite risk and hypothermia. Now, however, we can afford to wait out some time here. We don't even need to sleep for a long time. What we will do is kind of wish that we'd brought some more food with us, but that's alright. I've got these cattails. Chow them down, Shepard. Yeah, not that cold, Shepard. Just have a drink. And we are going to hope that there's an aurora tonight. is definitely not an aurora, but there's nothing saying it won't become an aurora. We've left the door open because, you know, you shouldn't shouldn't let your room get too stuffy. Okay, well, that's definitely not an aurora. It's a full-on blizzard. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll keep the door closed. God, this must feel so cozy. Assuming there's not a draft here. And thinking about it, wouldn't you have a much, much thicker duvet on a bed like this? I suppose you could always put on the fire. I was thinking about putting one on, but honestly, what's the point? Just in case it clears up and aurora fires, we still won't sleep the whole night away. But I don't think it's... I don't think it's clearing up anytime soon. Goodness, that is grim. We'll, have, we'll step out in it anyway. <laughs> I'm not even sure I trust being all the way up here in this blizzard. I hope those Canadians know how to build towers. Tower lookout houses are the most cozy locations in the whole game. Makes me want to drop everything and just move into the wilderness. You mean in real life? Probably not going to be anywhere near as inviting as it sounds. As long as I'm not in a city, I'm generally happy though. Right, nice job with that, Shepard. But now I think, since the only thing I really want to do anymore is the Aurora Mine, although I would still love to get that vista. You know what, I'm going to check down here just in case I missed it. I came here early, but I was in a rush, so I might have just passed by it. One of the possible vista locations is down here. Cairns in the game, I believe for people that backed the game during its early access phase. I mean, I might have poor early access, but I... Uh... I think I might have overshot this a bit. I'm going to take a risk and run off this. <laughs> there we go. Whew, good thing I did. I just about missed this part. Yeah, it would have been more of a straight down here if I'd taken the rope, but I did not because I was being... maybe not lazy, but I was certainly cutting corners. Jeez, how many sticks do we have now? <laughs> not enough. 
There's one of the maple saplings that people were talking about. Uh, no, no, I don't need that. Just leave it be. With massive saw marks in it now. Which I already came down here. The corpse was empty and I did not spot a backpack. Doesn't mean it's not here. Jings, remember the vista location in Bleak Inlet? Tucked away in a little Tupperware container. Lodged into the backside of the rock that the lighthouse was on. Now that was pretty well hidden. I don't think I would have found that without being directed to it. I'll we'll take the rope down this time. Yeah, if I end up staying here in Hungary, it's probably going to be quite some time until I see snow. Then again, I have heard that Balaton Lake freezes, and I imagine it would be very easy to freeze since it's an exceptionally shallow lake. So, so full on food, I'm not even bothering with the bunnies, but I might head down and check out the uh, the trailer here, because I feel like I didn't search it properly. Are you not surrounded by mountains? I don't think quite surrounded, but why do you ask? Oh, you mean going up there to experience some snow? Hmm. I'm not sure I possess the survival instincts to just climb up snowy mountains. Terrorizing this poor bunny. I'm sorry. Jesus, I don't mean to. Cold. You're just getting in my way. Wait, wasn't the wasn't the trailer here? It might be further down this way. As someone up from northern Norway, you can have all the snow from us. No, no, thank you. Spent most of my life in Scotland and Sweden. I think I can do without the Northern European climate for a while. Surrounded by snow, and nothing to drink. Yeah, I think I am starting to acclimatize. It's now about 25 degrees indoors most days, and I'm not feeling any worse for wear than when it's just 23 indoors. Like being scared of. Crane flies, just overexposure therapy your way through it. Which of course never happened to me, I'm not scared of bugs, but uh, a friend of mine growing up was Freezing. terrified of crane flies, aka daddy long legs. Well, I clearly don't know what I'm doing, because I thought for sure there was a trailer around here, and I'm not seeing a trailer. Dead. I'm just freezing poor Commander Shepard. But that's fine. I'm going to go back to Ponset. I am going to pass time until we have an Aurora, and then we're going to do the Aurora mine, and that should honestly be us. It's day eight, and I already feel very confident about the run. I mean, we have so many sources of ignition, a huge amount of food. It's trivial for us to make water and get more food. On top of that, we have beach combing. This is not the trailer I was speaking of, but I may as well come in here just to warm up. Have I already checked you, though? No. This must this must have been the trailer that was dark when I came in. And look at that. Huh. What have we here? Worth it. Also, it's moldy, so this might poison us, but let's take the risk. What is it someone said the other day? Stomach like a concrete elephant. Have I even gotten food poisoning that I didn't intend to get on any of these single region survivors yet? I did intend to get the one I got the Forlorn Musk Egg, although that backfired spectacularly. Oh yeah, the sound of crunchy snow beneath the feet does feel good. I will give you that. compels you to live there. I mean, I like to get away from civilization, but that is far, far away. And not even in a desirable location. 
And everything must be monstrously expensive. I wonder that too, and I'm from Norway too. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. See, the consequences of doing a Norwegian map on Caesar 3 are still being felt today. Thank you, Bergen. It was a good map, though. Mm. I'd even say one of the better maps I've made on stream. Well, fortunately, with this map, I think it's the last of the truly easy maps. Well, there was this, Mountain Town, and Mystery Lake, and all three of them are easy-peasy maps. The weather is nice, the resources are rich, there are plenty of places to take shelter. Most of the rest of the places are relatively bleak, although none as bleak as Bleak Inlet. remember where the Aurora Mine is, actually. I'm certain it's along here and to the left. But it's also quite possibly back there, and I've actually... Jinx, how have I managed to pass it by? Well, it's okay. I know I can reach it from Concept, so... We will be in Concept until we have an Aurora. Unless, uh, Unless we end up with some accursed cabin fever. That would actually be pretty bad. I don't even have a bedroll to roll myself up into by and go into a car to tackle it. Didn't we find a moose here at the very start, though? Was there a moose loose? I remember talking about the moose breaking my ribs, so... That makes me think maybe. Goodness, there's a fair few wolves around. <laughs> One of them spooked and bolted. But they don't have the wherewithal to enter the glorious concept. No pry bars with off putting, though. All these empty lockers that I can't open to confirm that they're empty. Let's see, the guts are about a day away from being able to be used with all this rabbit stuff. With the exception of this one that we're still waiting a fair bit on. What about so far behind the rest? That would allow me to make the rabbity goods. Keep me warmer outside for longer. The gloves especially. That would be an extra degree and a half. Maybe two degrees. That would be very welcome. Alright. Grab the food and spend some concept time. They are close, aren't they? Here we go. Before the wolves can notice that anything is up. Grab the goods, in we come, and we want to sleep through the day and be wary through the night. Unfortunately, Concept lights up like a Christmas tree during an aurora, so it should be immediately obvious when aurora times are happening. For now, though, scarf down that venison. Maintain the well-fed. I think Jinx did we get a lot of... Oh, well, one thing. I don't have tons of water, do I? I do have the capacity with which to make more water. Actually, I'll take both of these. If I do desperately need more water, I do have this fire barrel right here, so that should be okay. However, till then... God, just sitting on my bed eating several kilograms of meat. Mm. It's like the first time I placed a bulk order from that Finnish beef jerky shop. Good times is what I'm saying. I was sorely tempted to place another order for them and have it delivered here in Hungary, and I still regret not having done that. I really should have. It's so good. That Finnish beef jerky and the rest of their meaty jerky products are the best I've ever had. I forget the name of it because it's... I think it begins with a V and it's long and Finnish. Which probably doesn't... Probably doesn't make things much easier for anybody. Right. Come on, Aurora. It's what we're waiting on.
We got it. First night. Excellent. Okay, well, everything's coming up Thrill House. Do I happen to have any... I'm not taking meat with me. I, I, I don't want to bring on some unwanted attention. By the way, there's buffer memories like that. I don't know what to make of them. Guts aren't cured anyway. I've got my water. It's time. Time to split. I shouldn't need more burnables. In fact, there's no way I need 77 sticks where I'm going. Nor a book on dressing my kills. I'll take the cattail stocks just in case things end up going very south. Which it could. It still doesn't degrade into nothing in, uh, in one of these. Um, maybe it would be sensible to actually lighten my load a fair bit. Never know what we're going to be finding in there. I'll be burning my torches when I'm there, but I think there's something that I can start a fire in. At least that's what I'm hoping. Alright, Shepard, let's get moving. I hope the wind is still out there. I'll leave behind the meat. The last thing I need are these Aurora wolves on my case. It is not still. Look at that wind. Five talons brain aneurysms coming in. All they want to say is hi. Oh, welcome. Mm, better pick up the pace. Now, you can easily die in the Aurora Mine simply due to... Uh, the electrical burn damage that you face there. But there's another more insidious way to die, and that is if you overstay the aurora whilst you're in there. If you do that, you are stuck until the next aurora. And if you don't have a bedroll, you won't be able to sleep to regain condition. And that means you can start taking condition damage from fatigue. And if the game is very cruel and doesn't give you an aurora for five days, you could just die. Die from lack of sleep because Commander Shepard doesn't have the wherewithal to just lie down. That said, I don't know if there's a bed down there, but I don't think there is. Of course, that comes with another even worse way to go, and that is through cabin fever. You could be there for a while, then get cabin fever, then you'd be unable to sleep, and you could still not get an aurora for a while and be stuck down there. It is gorgeous, though. Never seen the Northern Lights myself. At least I don't think I have. Then again, it could be on a previous long dark stream. I said, hey, I remember seeing the Northern Lights on this day, this month, and this year. My memories are not generally very good. But my memory is. The memories I do have are pretty freaking great. Have you tried out Biltong yet? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a poor imitation. Alright, here we go. Final area to check out, unless I've been missing somewhere, but I can't think of anywhere. Like I said, I've spent a lot of time on Coastal Highway. I do feel like I know it fairly well. So... I haven't actually checked this part out. I came in here, it was too dark to see, so let's have a good gander. Maybe there was something amazing here that passed me by. I tell you, a storm lantern wouldn't go amiss. A pry bar. Oh, even, even more matches. I believe when I open. Oh, quality tools. Okay, well, now this is, this is going somewhere. I believe when I entered this map, I said the one concern about the map is sources of ignition, because I don't think any are guaranteed. But of course, there are plenty that are down to random chance. I'm quite certain what I found there were random matches. I think all four of the matches I found were relatively random. Although I'm less concerned, with that, less convinced that that's the case for the ones I found on the dashboard. 
container matches. Those are certainly random, but one's just lying around. I'm unsure. Well, there we go. Mm. Okay. Speak of beef jerky, get of beef jerky. Shouldn't be talking about food though, I'm getting pretty hungry here. I don't even think I have any food, do I? No, that's not true, I've got a potato. Where's my potato? There's my potato. Uh, but I've got a small bag of potatoes and some cheese. So I'll probably just make some kind of potato cheesy vegetable thing tonight. Not a gratin though. Just whatever. Oil the tatties for 10-15 minutes, then fry them with some oil, cheese, some herbs. Mix in... I don't know. I got some peppers. Okay, right, well, <laughs> I'm already looking forward to being done with you. Let's go, see what the Aurora Mine has for us. Okay, so those sparky things, they can burn and kill. And I'm pretty sure if you step in the water, that also burns and kills. So don't do any of that. Also, I'm going to preemptively start this fire in case I accidentally lose mine. That way this fire can just remain and burning for me. Jacket with grated cheese? No, I actually prefer my potatoes chopped I'm up rather than whole. I also like my potatoes mixed up with sweet potatoes, but I'll have them with cheese. I always feel like cheese and sweet potatoes don't go well together. Wait, that Whoa, okay, so that's what I mean by accidentally doing in my fire. I did not mean to throw it there. But, uh, oh god, I'm running low on tinder even. Yeah, well, uh, I've got some real Napoleonic tastes and Darius. I don't mind bland food or eating the same thing over and over again. But cooking is just enjoyable to me. Uh, Ingo's reclaimed wood, a bunch of sticks, and even some coal. And let's get exploring Hobbs. In fact, whilst I have this going, just in case things end up going south here miserably, let's make sure that we have some water. Plus, water takes a while, so it's... Ooh, well, hello. Shouldn't have picked that up. Too heavy, but... That shouldn't be a problem. Don't touch the metal stuff. It's bad for you. I'm not sure there's any way to open this thing. I wonder if you no-clipped under it, you'd be able to open it. Ah, no pry bar, of course. Can't search for biofuel in there. <laughs> boiled chicken with mashed unseasoned potato. Crikey. Few things sound worse than boiled chicken. Chicken needs direct heat. You are dead in seconds from burns in this game, so do not touch the electrified cables. In fact, it's it's not unlikely that I die in here. Very dangerous place to be. To the point where maybe you'll think to yourself, hey, I'm gonna go into the Aurora mine, wait out the Aurora, then explore. Definitely a way to do it, to Let's say you're 250 days into a, an interloper survivor run and you don't want to risk losing it all. That would be a reasonable course of action. But that does mean you're at the mercy of the game to give you another... Um, another Aurora to get out. I don't like being at anyone's mercy. Hello, dead man. Do you have the peanut butter on you? He has the nothing on him. Oops. I don't remember I found the peanut butter in here, but I miss it already. Oh, wow, I've come all the way over here for nothing. But that is part of the interloper experience. Searching hard to be rewarded yeah. with absolutely nothing. 
potatoes, roughly mashed with fresh coriander, feta, olive oil, chilies, and lime. Barely counts as cheese, but delicious nonetheless. That does sound good. I love sweet potatoes more than regular potatoes, but in my opinion, they do have different uses. I like to use sweet potatoes with lentils a lot. I think those two tastes go together spectacularly. Mix in some spinach into the equation and spice it up with some spices and chili. And then you've got something that can be paired with just about anything. Alright, here we go. This is clearly what I came here for. This red toolbox. Some almost useless gunpowder. It can be used as accelerant. But, you know, it's still a great thing. Who came all this way for accelerant? Thinking about it, maybe it's a bit like the Spelunker's um, lighty thing in here. I know they added the Spelunker's lantern onto Interloper. This wouldn't be an unreasonable place to find it. Which is to say it would be a reasonable place. Plenty warm down here, plus four. Even if you were naked, this place would be warm enough for you. Hot enough for you. Yeah, that water doesn't look safe to set foot in. Pretty sure I just splashed my foot with it one time and got huge amounts of burn damage previous. Supply bin, show me the peanut butter. <laughs> Top tier interloper loot. Spray paint. I even picked it up as well. Was too excited for what might be in there. Sorry, poker faces, I succumbed to the weekly one punishment. That game was so bad. Right, is there anywhere that I haven't checked out here yet? Always feels like there's another corner to turn in the Aurora mine. Oh, I, well, I am walking over that. That's deadly. Although, maybe, maybe. Ow! Oh. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, oh. You can do it, Shepard. Ooh, he ain't gonna make it. <laughs> Perhaps this was not a wise thing to do. If I touch either of these, I am dead. Should have taken the long way around, Shepard. Oh, that's okay, we survived. How's our water doing? Ah, oh, it all boiled out. Okay then, boil the birch bark tea. Boil us up a tin of coffee. And then ask ourselves why in the world we even came here. <laughs> Have we checked out everything though? Did we check out what's over here? I think I did, but can I be sure? Yeah. I actually need some torches out of you. over here or not. But it's probably the last place to check, one way or the other. 
Oh, I don't remember crouching through something. Or was this where I found the corpse with the nothing on it? huge amount of electricity going for it to hurt so much to step in even the water. With trail boots made of leather on your feet as well. Oh now steady on Dark Young, I've got enough to be excited about already without also knowing that Nancy Drew is going to be there for you, making sure you make good on your promise. I had to pull a lot of favours to make sure that game happened. I not believe the ties I have with her interactive. Well, I am pretty shocked at the amount of nothing that there is here. Maybe I shouldn't be, right? This is the interloper experience, but I was kind of expecting something. Can we even climb over this? No, I guess not. Oh well, out we go before the Aurora decides to end and leave me trapped here. Somebody must have pulled some ties because I assumed it was dead in the water. Part of the fun of writing checks with your mouth is never quite knowing for certain if you're going to have to cash them or not. Alright, let's skedaddle from here whilst we still have our life. Maybe we'll feed ourselves to a wolf, uh, wolf outside. After the roaring success, it was Salem. I do intend on playing through all the Nancy Drews at some point in my life. I will have to eventually tackle Salem, I think. I'm not thrilled by that proposition. Oh, not boiled yet. There we go, go. And with a simple stick, I can grab the torch. And we're good to go. Well, did we find anything down here? At all? We found burnables, some coal, and pretty much nothing else. That's the Aurora mine for you. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right, we found the spray can. I wonder if I can find enough spray cans to start painting racial slurs all over the place. Stick it to the Canadian. You know, Jake, you of all people might actually need the spray paint. The world makes you think that. Your sense of direction and all that, that's fine. Ooh, it does not sound fine out there. High wind plus aurora. Not that the fire makes much of a difference in an aurora, since the wolves are still going to be on me like a car bonnet. Oh, out we go. We're going back to concept and call it a day there. Oh, that doesn't seem that bad. I was going to say this is the second time we've been out in Aurora and not actually seen Aurora wolves, but then I remembered. We did spot the wolves when we were out on the ice. Oh, and the wind is blowing right against me. It would be a much cleverer thing to go and retreat into that uh, cabin rather than make a dangerous run over to Conset. Through the wood shepherd. Go to the better as well because the 
damage that I would take from the hold here could actually do me in before I even get back to Consa. It's not a pleasant day here. In fact, that might be the end of the Aurora. It's going to be amazing if it is. Let's go inside here and find out. It is! If we had stayed in there for just a little longer, we would have been trapped inside the Aurora cave. Because the Aurora is over, even though the night is not. Well, let's celebrate with a lovely tin of sardines, which may or may not make us sick. And wash it down with some brand new beef jerky. I was tempted to take some coffee before bed, but no. Got our 10 hours of... Oh, it's not even 10 hours of sleep, is it? This won't heal me that much. Oh, well, sleep all you can anyway, Shepard. Sleep those electrical burns away. Never had electrical burns. Can't think of any kind of burn that I've had before. Which is probably for the better. What can I say? I, uh... I managed to gravitate away from injury. Can you get trapped? Oh yeah, yeah. The um, If you're down in the Aurora Mine and the Aurora ends before you leave, and yeah, you don't know when that Aurora is going to, uh, going to end, uh, you are stuck down there until the next Aurora. Which is why whenever you go into the Aurora Mine, it is highly advisable that you bring with you a sleeping bag and enough food and water to survive. Maybe three or five days. And yeah, that's quite a bit of food, but you can just leave it at the entrance and pick it up on the way out. Because being down there... Well, if you have the bedroll, you're kind of fine until cabin fever kicks in, but you're probably going to get an aurora within a week. I had hot metal burns. I remember playing with my dad's lighter when I was a kid and burning my thumb on that, but that doesn't count. Too young to even remember it. Well, I mean, I do quite vividly remember it, but the searing pain is a long gone memory. Unlike when I ripped my thumbnail off. Ah, oh, crikey. Still got the cold sweats remembering that one. How did it even happen? I was faffing around with an outdoor uh, hose pipe thing. And I slipped in a very bad way. But yeah, some very painful things, just no uh, no serious injuries for me. And I'm happy to keep it that way. Oh my, another doe out. On Interloper there's meant to be far fewer wildlife, and I think it is set to the minimum for uh, all the good wildlife, rabbits and does and deers. For the predators and dangerous things, so that's the bears, the wolves, the timber wolves, and the moose. It's not set to very high, it's set to high. It's higher on stalker. But I think part of the thinking there is that you can still harvest them for goods. There's still guts, there's still meat, there's still hides. So actually having more of them can be good for you, especially the bear and the moose. Oh, cripes! Can I make it back without getting jumped? Oh, wow, that was almost the end of it there. Again, I don't have a weapon to fight back with. What a wolfy jump scare. You know, obviously, obviously just trying to drum it up. Because it has been a fairly easy region, but you know, not all regions are the same. Not even close to equal. This is far, far easier than practically everywhere we've done, aside from Mystery Lake and Mountain Town. But hard to deny the situation. I will grab my stuff just so I can somewhat show it off. Hey, can I just like take everything? This pack is getting too heavy. To everything. Carry. Oh yeah, there we go. You're fine, Shepard. You're fine. It's less warm in here, but there we go. Plenty of hides, guts, pelts, everything we need to make them nicely. Speaking of nicely, 
we go. I do have a slight regret that I couldn't do any cooking, but we didn't find a skillet, so... Not even a pot. No sense trying over spilt milk there. We've got ourselves the hatchet and such an unbelievably large amount of fire that we could probably ma- uh, we could probably like two matches a day and still be fine. We've got food. We've got loads of food outside. If I grabbed that, I wouldn't be able to move and then the, the dogs would all eat me. But yeah, I was a little surprised at how south things went at the very start. I was very, very low condition and I got jumped by that wolf. That was unfortunate. But even so, was there ever any doubt that I wouldn't survive in Coastal Highway? Considering that I was able to uh, stack up the store here during Outer Loper. And that's a look, it was a good run. In any case, I will call it there. I won't have a vote on the next one right now. I might do it later, I might have no vote at all. For me now, all that talk about potatoes is making me rather hungry to... Actually, you know what? Potato. I've never cooked a potato in a game. Let's do it. I'm also wanting to try this. If you light a match, can you then use your lit match? Wow! Hands up if you played the game and never seen that animation before. Just flinging the match into the fireplace. Interesting. I just need to burn it, Shepard. Who cares about this stuff? I want to see if I can cook my potato. An hour. Well, I suppose potatoes do take quite a while to cook. All the better to chop them up with. There we go, mead horde trays in their hand. Crickney hasn't seen it. And Crickney's played about a million hours of every game I've ever played. I don't have anything else I could actually cook here. We'll have a chaser meal with some dog food, Shepherd. Didn't that waste another match? I don't think it did. I think I was at 43 and now I'm at 42. I wanted to try it though because... I didn't know you could light a fire using an already struck match. I thought you had to use a fresh match. But when I was playing single region survivor in Broken Railroad, I was using a match to try and desperately find the fire barrel when I was horribly hypothermic. And when I selected the fire barrel, it... Mm, yeah, it didn't show a bunch of matches. It showed one match at certain condition, which made me think maybe it could be used. Maybe it could. There we go, there's our opened dog for all. Oh, okay. But hey, it's all real stuff in there. Turkey, beef, chicken, water, calcium, vitamins. Vitamin K, good for canines, right? There we go. Okay, it's kind of spilling out. It does look like that's some good crispy skin. If you're the kind of person that chucks away potato skins, one, you're a philistine, and two, give them to me. A guy I lived with uh, skinned all his potatoes, and he was about to chuck away the skins. I said, nope, give them to me. I put them in a bag, mixed them with oils and herbs, shook it up, spread it out in a tray, roasted it, and then we all enjoyed delicious potato skins. Anyway, down the hatch. Makes you thirsty, doesn't give many calories, does give warming up, though. Hmm, kind of like a drink. Anyway, chase it down with some dog food. Of course we have the seasoning. All the seasoning inside that dog food. There must be natural salts inside that turkey, chicken, and beef. In any case, that's it for real. Uh, I'm done for the week. I will be back on Thursday. God, that's straight into another bit of Long Dark. Sucks to be a follower of the channel if you hate the Long Dark, but I just can't get enough. But until then, it is a cheers and cheerio.